Someone was waiting. Were they waiting for a while? Where? I don't remember. Oh, who was it? Maybe they kicked themselves out. Oh, we we just decided to make some sangrias. Um, <laughs> does anyone want to show their progress? I'll highlight. Chip. Oh man, I ate that. Uh... Okay, then after, just put them down, and then I'll know. There we go. Hey, John. Can you see there? Okay. Oh, I like the eyes in there. Yeah, oh, they're nice. nice. Big, elongated mm -hmm. eyes. Yeah. Nice, Brian. Oh, I'm glad that everyone has gone with like the, oh, like the beard. Oh, it, wait, oh, it's, oh, oh sorry. Okay, yeah, but where do you want me to go? Nice. No, the, the the last one kind of looked like um, uh, uh, what's his name from um, Motorhead. Hi, mom. <laughs> oh, sorry, was that too quick? No, Should I slow it down? No, you're good. Oh yeah. I is I think it's Chel is. I think I saw Chelsea's birthday. Is it Chelsea's birthday? We just saw that one. Yeah, it's my birthday. Or Happy yesterday it was. Happy birthday. Thank you. Where did you see that? On her name when I first was logging in. Um, yeah, we're all we all seem to be in the same sort of uh, position, like where we're as far as how far along we are. So I don't feel like I've gotten too far ahead of everybody. No. Nice. Let's see. I like the blue pen. I like to watch people's reactions to the other people's drawing. Awesome. What is hey the oh, hi Kelly? <laughs> Who's with you, Kelly? Oh, I can't tell. Who's I bit Kelly. into that. Uh... I think we've got everything going to show. All right. Right? Yeah. Um, mm. The drawing. What do you want spotlight? What's the stock thing? Uh, the celery. I bit into the celery and I got stuck in my teeth. It's driving me nuts. Well, which one are you highlighting? I don't know. You're talking over here, so I highlighted you there. Uh, wow, everyone's looked awesome. What, what was, oh, Lemmy. Let, Lemmy. I was trying to think of who that, it's a, not, someone's drawing had like, uh, looked like Lemmy up in the, up in the fetus. And Lemmy is? From Motorhead. Oh. <laughs> oh, right here. From, are you guys from? <laughs> Yeah, they're from, from uh, Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Yeah. <laughs> Luxembourg yeah. Well, we got you at a good hour this we, we pretty much did this drink and draw for you guys. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. We appreciate you have You have drunk too much coffee, Ty, this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> I'm far behind, but don't worry. <laughs> I wonder, do we have the people here who were in um, Ireland last time? Oh yeah. Tell. We have, we have uh, Ola, who is from from Poland. Ola and Kasia. Oh, Poland. Yes, we have Krakow, south of Poland. Oh, we we. we, we say, well, how did you say that? Krakow. Yeah, Krakow. In south they? of Poland. They have. And we're all wow. over the place. <laughs> okay, everybody. Oh, okay. Am I, who have I got highlighted? You, all right, time to get going, huh? I really liked everyone's drawings. I feel like everyone's uh, pretty much there. Who's wandering behind me? Oh, it was your head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ghost. Let's um, just continue on where we were headed. I feel like if you, so I noticed that everyone had kind of done done those. I'm gonna leave mine because I can get to those. I can 
shade those in pretty quick. I don't even know what we're calling those, but it looked like a, a lot of people had done them. I like that some people like did the them. horns. Um, but I feel like we've mostly got this side of his of his head shaded. Uh, so I'm comfortable. Oh, you all right, cat? Dopey. Uh, sorry, my cat just tried to jump up on his table. And, gee, this is the first time she's ever really kind of. So I'm comfortable with like uh, coloring in this eye. I really want to get an eye colored in so it starts to have some life. So um, I'm going to color in this eye because I'm not kind of, you know, it's not you, with eye. color. What do you mean color? Not color. I'm sorry. I'm going to fill in this eye. Uh, I have a, one of these thicker big pens to do it. It doesn't, but um, I think for the most part, if you have your highlight kind of outlined in there, you can pretty much just fill that all the way in. Uh, I still like to, even when I'm filling it in, I like to, if it's shaped like in a circle, I like to fill it in in circular shapes so that if I wanted to have it darker here on this edge, and then if I wanted a little bit of lighter somewhere for some additional highlight to help give a little more effect of it being like a sphere, um then that's why i'll do that so uh if you'd like go ahead and fill that in i'm gonna do it because i just want to start to i want it to have a little bit more life while i'm working on it so i'm gonna fill in just this eye Oh, I think this is the pen that ran out on me last weekend, or not last weekend, the last drawing. I think that actually might have been last weekend, was it? No, no. It's been two weeks since oh. I've talked to other humans <laughs> in person. I mean, you know, verbally. Right, because that's how we do talk. <laughs> I don't know. Do you say I was, I talked to him yesterday, but actually meant it was in a text message? Yeah, so sorry, I'm just feeling in that. So as you can see, I don't do like a completely filled in. I feel like as it gets towards the center, it would be a little bit lighter. And then as it gets around to the edges, it's darker. That this right when I was just looking at that, it kind of gives me the, the vibe of like just this sh shading this eye of um of what's his name's drawing of his self portrait uh, when he's holding that sphere and he's in it. Oh, oh Ansel Adams. No, 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 no. <laughs> no Salvador Dali is it? No. No, not Dali. Uh, yeah, sure. Escher. Yeah, Escher. Escher. that's Escher's, who I was thinking. Yeah, Escher's drawing when he's holding that the the, the yeah. crystal ball. That's well, what that what, what, looks like what right does Ansel Adams do? Why he's the that... photographer. We went to his house in uh in Denmark, right? No. Oh, whose was that? Remember? What are you? No, about? the what artist. We remember in Denmark, our last day in Denmark, and we went to his, the museum that was like. Was Ansel like, Adams does the black and white nature pictures yes yes so who's we went to a writer oh he was that's right the, who's that steve i don't know the one who made up the little mermaid who, who's um, that give me a second hans christian anderson <laughs> yes <it>. yes that's <laughs> who we went to his house i don't know why i got him confused with <laughs> yeah and the rembrandt his was in Amsterdam, anyway, wasn't it? Rembrandt? No. We didn't go to oh, that geez. Maybe, maybe I should just be quiet. Is anybody here? There's. Uh, I'm not going to tell that story. Okay, so yeah, I got my eye filled in there. Uh, so I left this area. So what I want to do is like this eye, top eyelid. I want it to drop shadow um, into anything that's around here. Uh, it's like on the corners here. So let's just drop in a little shadow onto this area. 
it helps make that eyeball feel like it's tucked, like the socket's kind of tucked out back in there. Yeah, I just spent, I feel like I spent a lot of time filling in that eye, but I... <laughs> All right, so we're just going to, I'm going to just shade in my bags on the eye here. So basically, we're just doing, we're going to just keep, keep on doing this, this shading, uh, this sort of shading stuff that we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, I'm just I'm nothing extra to add. Just, you know, I, I, I do think that it, um, it does have a lot to do with the fact that we really aren't talking to people. <laughs> like that? it's getting worse. Just being able to communicate yeah. is getting just, just a lot worse. Yeah, communicating is difficult <laughs> when you don't do it <laughs> on a regular basis. <laughs> I've never been great at uh well you have it but you can get by but now I feel myself doing it. Yeah, I haven't I struggle verbalizing. Um I even do I do a I do a quit I do this adjective recall test every morning. Cuz I've always struggled with pulling the right adjective. And I've been doing it for almost a year. Every morning I do this, it's like a 30, or I don't know how long it is. But I test or to expand my vocabulary. That's the whole point of doing it. But I feel like I done, it's gotten me nowhere. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, I wanna shade in the, I think I wanna shade in this fetus thing up here. So. I feel like there's, it's full of liquid in there. And I'm only saying that out loud because I want to make it feel like there's liquid in there when we do the shading. So I feel like the way I would want to do this, well, Tim Burton Mars attacks, huh? Um, maybe, okay. So I'm just going to do like little light swirls inside here. Kind of fluid. Yeah. And um, it's super light. And what, the reason I'm doing these lines in here, when I start shading it, I'll use those lines as like the template of my shading. That sounds super confusing, but uh, I'll kind of give you an idea of what I mean. So. Uh, let me see. So we're inside the head here. I'm doing this like, and this is the fetus in here. But I'm just doing these really light, kind of swervy looking wave lines, really light. And then when I do the shading on everything inside here, I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna kind of. Uh, <laughs> I want to leave some of those lines, I want to use those lines to leave some of that area a little white, a little lighter. Uh, I, the only way I can really show it to you is when I start shading. You don't, I, the, you, <laughs> that, that's just, I rarely will do something like this, so I don't want it to ruin your drawing. So if you're going to try these, don't, um, don't draw, make those lines really light. Cause I'm actually just kind of experimenting with it. With it. So I'm gonna just gonna start doing the shading of the, the fetus in here. And I'm gonna see if this works, those, those little uh, swervy lines. I'm gonna, I, I can feel right now that I'm gonna end up completely bagging those lines. I don't know if that's gonna work. So. I wasted all that time discussing those, but. <laughs> I realize with you, that's how you think, though. It is. <laughs> you think by a, a, a lot of words. Like, you think a lot of words, and then when it's all said and done, you usually have a different perspective. 
Oh, that's true. So with your shading, same on the fetus thing in here. The, I don't feel like there needs to be a ton of detail on this thing in here because it's already inside of a bubble and there's the fluid in there. So there's not a ton of uh, details in there. The only detail I really care about is these eyes, the closed eyes. Oh, I forgot his, about his umbilical cord. I wish I'd put Lemmy in here now. <laughs> I miss that. I wish I, I'll have to look later. What, yeah, he's what got like this, this super cool, like a uh, handlebar mustache. That <laughs> well, I'll just say my alien looks more like a monkey. Well, monkeys, alien looking. Well, I don't want to spend too much time shading out this thing. I realize that time's going to start getting away from us. So I'm going to just do some quick little shading on this dude in here. I'm actually going to give him tiny little devil horns. <laughs> Why is the devil always got to get stuck with the one being the horns? Oh, don't even get into I'm that. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I completely just like bailed on my whole thing with those squirrely lines inside there. I think I'm going to give him a little tattoo on his arm already. <laughs> well, I don't know where he got his tattoo at as a fetus inside, but he's going to have this uh, Kaulima. It's a Samoan tattoo. Just a little armband. On mine. Are you saying Samoans are derived from aliens? Oh, yeah, Samoans come from aliens. Is that what you're saying here? I guess. All right, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't want, I, I keep saying I don't want to get stuck on this, but I want to make sure it looks right. So I'm just uh, shading in his umbilical, um, umbilical cord. We had an inter. Well, you know what? We did have conversation, Adrian. We did. Yeah. Yes, With Bobby we did. And Britt about umbilical cords <laughs> the other night. Yes, we have acquired a space in this little boom town that we're in in Hannibal. We bought um, this house basically so that we could have the property that the garage sits on, because our our van sits kind of on a busy street and it got slammed into one night by a drunk driver. Anyway, we just needed our van off the street. So we bought this whole house with a garage. We ripped down the garage and now we have this wonderful pad, concrete pad. <laughs> and we were able to have a few friends over with their lawn chairs and sat in a distant circle and had a conversation. It was kind of nice, huh? Yeah. And she's and, and she, uh, eight. She's pregnant. And she's doing. She's doing like a week. A week. So we had a discussion about umbilical cords. And <laughs> I think I missed it. What did you guys? I don't know. What I don't know. He's about. talking about. If they were worried about if they get stuck somewhere and she can't make it to the hospital in time. And so Bobby was talking about how he would chew, oh, yeah. chew off the umbilical. I don't know. He was, really was yeah, I was. <laughs> and we started talking about your grandma. And I was like, no, just get something clean, a clean string and just tie it off and then go, <laughs> then go to the hospital. Yeah, he was really overthinking it. They live three minutes from the hospital, so. 
I told him the this, this story of, of my grandmother who had her children out by the coconut tree. And, and the, the, uh, the, the brothers and sisters, siblings, so my, my, my dad's siblings say they remember that their mom would wander off into the, uh, plant, off the plantation because they grew up in the island. So she would wander off and then come back and they'd, they'd have a sibling. So she would go off and give birth to one, to the, the child next to this coconut tree. And then she'd come back and- <laughs> She did it all by herself in the middle of the, the jungle, basically. <laughs> Strong lady. I think, I, I think it was like, thir it was 13 children, but I don't know if she had all of them out by the coconut tree. All right, okay. Yeah, time to move on to those um, ribs. Yeah, you wanna get to them ribs? Well, we haven't finished the shading him. Oh, well, you better do that. I know. I got so caught up in that. I know you did. In there. And time's creeping. Time moves so fast when we're doing that. But that's sort of the point, everyone. Uh, with all the hecticness, everything that's so hectic, it's nice to just get here. And I did realize that it's nice to just get, oh, let's just be drawing and be sort of a, a little bit away from everything else. And whether we finish the drawing or not, that is a small part of all of this, so. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and <laughs> finish up this, uh, his face. Uh, so same thing with this brow, dropping a nice shadow. I see, I feel like that time there is a nice time like for people to be able to get caught up or when you're zoned into something yeah well, we're just okay. kind of chatting like that okay well because really we've kind of gotten everything on there now it's just a matter of adding some details with some shading and i i feel like the shading everyone you guys are all kind of have to work at your own pace with that that some of us need and the complete instruction. Yeah. Now that we're over here on the right side of the face, pretty much most of that shading, oh, my hand's going numb. Pretty much most of that shading is gonna be uh, stuff that's uh, low down here on the, like on the bottom. There'll be not much shading on the right. Um, A little bit, maybe around here where this mound is. And definitely on this brow, that that's gonna drop some shadow. But other than that, that's mostly catching uh, all of the moonlight. Mm. Because he's, see, he's gonna drop that. He's peeking in the window at nighttime. So you can see the highlights of the window. And I got I have to take this, I have to turn this pages in a notebook. And it's got a lift and I need to rest my wrist. So make a little adjustment here. All right, oh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and color in this eye now. It's going to be the same sort of feeling it in as the uh, other eye. So I, I'm drawing in a note in this uh, in a sketchbook. And one of the things I like about drawing in a sketchbook is um, all the paper underneath it. Is serves as a cushion, so it, it it pads it a little bit, and so when you're drawing with a ballpoint pen, it's soft. It's much softer, and it helps uh, that little bit of um, like padding 
helps get the ink onto the into the paper a little bit more. And so when and when you're drawing on hard surfaces, it's so hard that the, the actual ball, the tip of the pen, uh, it starts to wear it down even more, and the line and your line stroke is, um, are thinner. And uh, I hate that. Yeah, I always notice when we're at art festivals and wherever you Google, how do you make those fine lines? And you say, it's all pressure based. And they go, oh, like they understand what you're talking about, but <laughs> they have no idea what you mean. Oh, you, I think this is kind of catching to what you're saying is the lighter you press. And then when you have that nice cushion under it, well, the problem yeah, that's, that's to I have, yeah. kind of give it like almost a bounce or not so much tension in it. Well, and then so I, and that's what I so my notebook is this thick, right? So the, the only, so the catch twenty two of this is I I need to have my hand resting when I'm drawing. That that's a that's three quarters inch off of. This, where I'm drawing and I'm lifted up over this so when I get to the edge of the paper I can't I'm, I'm work it's different so it's very difficult but I'll take that three quarter inch lift over drawing on hard surface I, I don't like drawing on hard surface especially with ballpoint pen it's actually kind of nice with pencil drawing on hard surface but not when you're doing like some of the shading Anyway, I don't know. I just think that's interesting because it's not something you think about a whole lot, what surface you're drawing on, but it makes a huge difference. Do you want me to go get you a washcloth or something to put on your wrist? No, I'll just hold it here. <laughs> okay. About two weeks ago, I scald, scalded burned my wrist right on the under part where you usually rest it. Ah. The, the skin just grew back like this past weekend so that I could do this. What ha have you drawn at all? I, uh, well, I work, I work from home on the computer. So it's very awkward trying to get any kind of work done. Um, and I, I kind I tried to draw with my left hand a little bit out of fun. Um, yeah. not too, too bad came out, but not, not the greatest. Um, and I, and I actually, I have a, uh, commission that I needed to be working on, but they were very understanding. I, I got some sketches out to them, but nothing detailed. You don't want to do commission pieces with your off hand. <laughs> no, no, you don't. <laughs> How did you burn it? Um, I did something really stupid, of course. I was making um, shepherd's pie in uh, a, a big pot where I took the top handle off because I didn't want that going into the oven. So when I went to remove the the top piece off it's all heavy ceramic and I put my arm in the way of the steam as it came out and it completely sculpted the side. Darn it. Yeah. Well you were, you were there you were there for when we discussed how age how my wife chopped off her finger so you don't yeah. you don't say anything how you did it I realized that like it was the last second before it happened I was like I shouldn't be doing this and then I got scalded so you know how it happens. <laughs> yeah. 2020, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's not 2020. I fell off a ladder. I cut my finger off. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I can handle this. Okay. Let's, uh, we can get to this. We can get to these rib, rib cage now, I think. I want to just make sure you, well, yeah, we got a half hour to do the rib cage. The rib cage is really easy, so. 20. Huh? 20 minutes. About. 13, I mean, 23. <laughs> okay. My fingers are just getting really numb. You know what would have been nice? Dang it. So now I'm realizing probably in this ball up on on the head here you would get the same reflection the same four pane glass four pane four. Oh, yeah, yeah. what am i trying to say you're saying the window the window pane 
What about it though? You would have up here on this ball, you would have oh, had that right. same kind of reflection. Um, you didn't think it And through. I didn't think of that when I was doing it, but I can still make it work. I'll do that in the third hour. Okay, let's get, uh, well, no, you're the one who always says, let's get a finished drawing. So I'm gonna just give some shading to his bottom lip here. So you're shading up on the lip? Not so the on lip. the lip portion, it is just like the same, like how you approach the mound. Because it's rounded, you're doing the, a little bit of a rounding shading. And then that's actually in the lip and up. And then below it, that's going to cast a little bit of a shadow. So you can even add a little shading below it. And we're going to round out his chin a little bit with some shading. And no surprise here, I'm going to have a little chin hair. I'm not, because then I'll really look like a monkey. <laughs> well, aliens are very chimpanzee-like. Didn't they shoot monkeys into space? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't think those astronauts would consider would uh, appreciate being called. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Those monkeys were astronauts. Those chimps. I know. They were the fur. Well, unfortunately, babe, they're still out there floating around. So. Yeah. That's who, that's who's come back though. See, that's what you're drawing. You've drawn that's the right. chimpanzees have come back. <laughs> okay. I feel like we probably have gotten most of our shading in on the, on the alien head. What about those horn things and, and this ribs? Not, well, everyone's, a, so I was gonna do those, but everyone's sort of looked different, so. Okay, then do the ribs, because yeah. everyone has ribs. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's little kind of uh, horn things look different. So I wasn't going to spend time on those. You're basically, you know, just going to shade those the same way you would do any other kind of shading. Um, so yeah, let's get to the rib cage. Man, my wrist is... Okay, let's... So on the back, on the back ones, let's just go ahead and and fill those in so that that'll help actually just give the effect. So if we don't even finish all the shading, at least it'll be, it'll look like that even just because we did the back one. So um, I feel like where Ben's, let's see, where was that? Hold on, let me figure something out here. Oh yeah, okay, so where Ben's, I feel like this is going to be a little bit darker. And then it gets a little lighter of the, I'm talking about the backside where it's bending back, the portion that you can see. Right where it bends, it's gonna be a little bit darker and it gonna get a little lighter here. So, so darker right here at the bend, a little bit lighter, gradual lighter. And you can just totally like fill it in like that. And then as it gets, starts to get closer to the backside of them, it can start to get a little darker again. And it doesn't need a ton of detail. Like it can literally be like what I was just showing you. Like, like just these like the lines like that. Where it's darker and gets a little lighter and then go starts to get darker again. Because that's the back side of the rib. So if you think of like a camera taking a photograph. That's, this is out of focus back here. So it doesn't, you can get that effect by not adding too much detail to that back here. It's, it's got soft edges. So you don't even need to, even if your line, your, your shading goes out of line, that, out of the lines, that's okay. Because those edges are uh, not, 
defined. The cat's being really weird, huh? She wants her rat. She's never hung out in the office. She though. lost it again. Yeah, so what when we get these sort of filled in, that's just going to make a big difference. And then we'll start doing some a little more details to the front part of the rib cage, which isn't really that much either. The actual shape itself is, is what's, uh, you know, showing the viewer. The viewer is, you know, we, I have this discussion all every time we're doing a drawing, but once you make the suggestion of something, the viewer sees it and then just uh, their, their own eyes and brains do the rest of the work for you. So even on this top collarbone, it's going to be a little darker here and then it gets a little lighter. We're, we're all so focused right now. <laughs> <laughs> Should I give an update on the gallery or? I don't care. I don't know that there is one. So you know we're all here, that we, in Missouri, we're from Salt Lake, Some of you, most of you know this, we're working on his gallery next door and we have almost the entire exterior done. And it's a restoration for the most part of an 1850s building. And a lot of the inside is ready. Josh is, or Ty, sorry. It's going to pull wire this week, and then we're going to have a foam insulation guy come in and spray it, throw in the drywall, and then we almost have a gallery, right? Yep. Finished well, gallery. water, so there's still plumbing, and, you know, we actually have to have the electrical hooked up. So there's a lot of things, but, man, we're really close to well, having the gallery. Not electrical hooked up. Electrical's ready. I just have to pull the wire and I'll have everything, like all the electric ready. We have to have the electric company turn the power on. Right. But I have to have the inspector come look first. But yeah, we're really close. So although this has not been ideal, we wouldn't have wished for this pandemic, we're making the most of the time and we're actually getting something done out here. It's kind of kind of nice, but extremely slow going. I mean, we've been here for a while now, and I thought we'd be a little further along. Most people don't build houses in two weeks or in two months, though. So I'm mm. just. <laughs> I had a good teacher. You did. So that's our update. Painting the exterior this week, pulling wire. And for those of you who don't know, we built so I, we built a a loft this in the top crazy. part of the gal of my gallery. So and that is uh, actually going to be a, a B and B. So uh, if you're coming through uh, Hannibal, Missouri, or you're coming through town, you stop at the gallery. You can actually stay for the weekend. And once people are traveling again, they're traveling here. <laughs> Missouri's kind of the uh, herd immunity state. And, yeah, uh, it is bizarre. We went downtown, still we live downtown, but uh, yesterday we walked down and it's packed. It's every restaurant, every bar is just full, full, full of people. It is, it is very strange. 
but nobody seems to be getting sick. Our cases aren't going up. Everybody was pretty sick out here in February and March. And so we kind of wonder if that wasn't it and it didn't already rip through here under the name of the flu or pneumonia or something else. So I don't know. It's interesting, but so yeah, you need to travel. Come stay at the art by the uh and you're not worried. Art by Tide Gallery. Missouri is open for business. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, so uh with the shading on this on the rib cage, it's gonna be like how we how we always do the shading, like uh what is, what I've called tube shading. Um for those of you who haven't been with us before. Um, anything that's spherical, that's shaped, you know, like almost like a tube, um, consider it in thirds. So the bottom third is the darkest portion of it with the shading. The center is highlighted and the top is a, is a lighter shade because that's rounded off. So it's not catching the light. So uh, that's how we're going to shade the rib cage here. Um, that was a really quick uh, demo demo there, but that's how we're going to do that. I'm actually going to make a video that does some tube shading. But. So that's how we're going to do these rib cages, even though they're not necessarily tube shaped. We're basically going to, on these front ones, going to have some dark, you know, I guess just like how we shade everything, but you do want to have you actually might not you might have a lot a lot less light shading at the top and then where this where the, the this connects to the stem i think you can make that a little shadow kind of in there but it's, it's super simple sort of shading on the on the rib cage And I did notice like people had started doing like um, the uh, that's kind of lines um, like I always think of it like Spanish moss kind of hanging on it. That's been my style. Well, that's a good way to hide some of these the, your light outlines out here by because um, I can see it's already one fifty. But doing like. Um, Little lines hanging off. Maybe it's uh, maybe if, I know it's kind of gross, but maybe it, this is like a root cage from a deteriorating, <laughs> and all the hair has not. Oh, I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. You know, some people might hang on a little longer since that. Um, oh wait, we just had somebody ask. We are taping the third hour, so if you aren't. Um, going to hang on for the, the third hour, we can send it to you, but some people might actually hang on because it's um, a Sunday yeah. afternoon for the most Well, part. either way, yeah, when we, when we do, if, you know, when we come to the top of the second hour, when we officially end it, and we'll stick around for the third hour and do some more drawing if you have to leave. We, um, we are recording it, and uh, so what I do is I'll send you a, a I'll send you a link to the entire video that goes to a YouTube link and that link that I send you is only you can access it from the link that you're sent. And you can watch uh, the whole thing over again or if you need to leave and you want to watch the third hour. This is pretty much how the third hour goes though. Like for those of you who've never stuck around for one of them, it's always a lot more casual. And so that's what I was going for this whole time here was just to be a lot more casual. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get bogged down trying to over explain stuff and I realized that was slowing the process down. Uh, it will never work out perfectly for everybody, but I found the majority of people who are, who uh, are are doing the lead drink and draw sessions 
are able to move at this pace. So I'd rather, it's got to kind of work mostly for the majority. But even still, even if some, if you feel lost or anything and you need additional uh, explanation on anything, just let me know. All right, so I'm just doing some uh, shading on these like um, little ridges or what do you want to call this? On the, the sternum area. They're basically just dropping a little bit of shadow to the left side of it. That's all I'm really doing there. I didn't want to, you to feel like I jumped way ahead, so. Yeah. Maybe I did feel like that. I'm gonna just put right here on this sternum, right here on this. Is that whole piece of sternum or is it just that one? I really have zero clue. All right, well, I'm just gonna put a, an eyeball right here. So it's necessary. It will also get the four highlight treatment on the pupil, the window pane. I think on these stems, if you wanted, on the shading on these stems, they are, they do kind of tuck back behind this portion. So it can be a little darker uh, in that area and then it gets a little bit lighter as it comes out of the, I just feel weird calling that a sternum if that's not even really what it is. But I'm just gonna keep calling it a sternum and tell anyone. Hey, are you just going to email everybody out the link to the uh, to the third hour? Yeah, so the okay. same, yeah, so everyone will get that link. So the same place where you signed up for Eventbrite, that's the, that's how I, that's the only access I have to your email addresses. Whatever email address you signed up with, that's, that's uh, directly where I can send out just the, uh, yeah, the link to the video. I probably won't get that uploaded until... Monday evening. I have some electrical stuff I want to get done in the gallery. Yeah, I, that, I feel like uh, that I said there wasn't going to be much detail in that fetus up there, but I feel like I, I, need, I will get to it in the third hour. Well, that fetus is getting plenty of n nourishment. It's a chunky little thing. It is a little chunky. That's okay. He's being fed the brain. He's been being fed knowledge. Oh, okay. Do you say so? Yeah, that, that uh, poor alien doesn't have much else to give. Well, why? Because, <laughs> because he's, he's all ribcage? Yeah. Well, just that's what you see. Okay. <laughs> it's all up in here. Um, I three more minutes. I, I want to, I mean, I'm what? Mostly, I can't, three minutes? I can't, uh, what we we'll have finish here that the uh, of the down ribcage. thing. It's all the same. What? That this, weird thing. This, yeah. The spine? That, yeah. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to finish that. Well, because mine's going to be a tentacle. I understand. Okay, but. Oh, I see. Well, if anybody has. Uh, if you have to leave here quickly, that you would like him to do or to tell you. Speak up now. 
Shall I highlight people's? Yeah, let's um, do a... Since it's... Well, I guess we're a little early. Go ahead. It's a little premature. Yeah, I, so my... On this... On this... On his spine, I, I want... I just like this idea of it being the tentacle. There's really no surprise there. You know how I am about tentacles. But it's like one tentacle with the two suction, two sides suction, suction cups, and then it splits in, in into two, and I and they're just one. So because it goes to two, there's just one suction cup per per one there. So that's why. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting better at that, though. What? <laughs> just dropping it. Yeah. Because you get to explaining and you just go for it for a while. Yeah, I realized I would, I do, it's, um, when I start over explaining, it's, it would have been better off if I just didn't explain at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. There are so many areas in this, in this, being and creature that we've made to do like to just do things like to give some more definition if you wanted like if you if you wanted him to be a little sweeter maybe you would give him some freckles <laughs> i don't know why freckles represent sweet but i always think of uh the redheaded kid from um canny no he's the director now um, uh, oh, from Andy from the Whistling Show, uh, no. where he goes fishing. What the hell is his name? Ron Ron Howard. Yeah, <laughs> isn't he the little boy from that? If I could whistle, <laughs> the do 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 do. do. Isn't he Andy Griffith Show? <laughs> yes. No, he's not. Is he not? Ron Howard. Yes, Ron Howard was Opie. Opie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wasn't he from Andy Griffith? That's different. Yeah, Andy Griffith. He was the, the son of the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finds the, uh, I always get the, that mixed up when, when they find the oil. Oh, the Beverly <laughs> Hillbillies? The clamp. We watch that all the time at the, at the house, too. I feel like we live that in the van when we pull up to hotels in our big old sprinter van. I just want that theme song to play out. That one or the no the hillbillies. The, the, uh, how does that go? Um, it was a little sore about uh, a man named name Jed. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, you guys. I I feel like we you have a you have an alien head and um, a rib cage to to go to boot yeah, with it. Spotlight, yeah. Um, I know there's still some more to go on that, so I, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna stay on for the third hour to do that, and we'll record it and we'll send you a link if you need to leave. Heather is ready. I'm gonna spotlight you. Let's go ahead and take a look at your guys. Oh, nice. Oh, did you do a blue pen, like different color pen for the eyes? Oh, shoot. You're muted. Yeah. But I think you did. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. It's where you have to hide my highlights in there. Yeah. While we're going through these, I'll, I'll do my officials, like, uh, thank you for joining us sort of thing. And um i hope you guys enjoyed yourself and oh jeez yeah wow. yeah i was gonna start talking but then i got caught up <laughs> oh i like the tongue on that great idea thank you <laughs> Yeah, it was, oh, wow, yeah. yeah. Well, that's a big piece of paper. You do I do like a 16 by 20, a nice good size, or oh, 11 by 14, 11 by 15. Yeah, good size. Ooh, oh, yeah. Fast.
teeth. Cool. Say a lot, don't they? Yeah. I like it. Sweet. Nice. Where are you? I love your loft. <laughs> I am like, <laughs> I've kind of been checking out that design in there. It's in Chicago. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, I like the uh, pinch oh, on that. Oh, sorry. It went good. a little fast. Nice belly stash. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I like those red eyes. A lot of creativity coming out in this session. I know. Huh? I'm glad that everyone went with the uh, four, four, not everyone, but the four paint. Hey, hey the whole family joined now. <laughs> awesome. That was my family, by the way. That's my right. sister-in-law and, ne and nieces or, ne or nieces, I guess that's all that's left there. Well, no, they're all back. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to find your drawing. Is that it? Yeah, I think, well, let me look one more time. Oh, no, Shirley's got hers hanging up now. And Kelly. Awesome, you guys. Yeah, I think that's everybody. Oh, no, one more. Oh, where did you go? You bounce them all over. No one saw that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. She was okay, everybody. So, uh, boy, that that went. Those two hours went a lot. They always go really quick, but those two hours went a lot quicker than Don't you. than before. Yeah. yeah. Um. So thanks. Uh. Thanks. Thanks for joining me. I, we're gonna do. I have. Um. I have two other ones scheduled right now to do. I'll keep doing them as long as people are are going to be here for them. I dropped the price of them because I realized the summer's coming up and I don't know, I have to, I'm going to be drawing anyway. So it's, it's a nice way to get uh, to talking to people. So I have two more scheduled in June. Um, I, I appreciate you guys uh, for sitting down and, join, and drawing with me and I love seeing you guys creativity and uh, I guess that's it. Uh, I'm going to take a five minute break and uh, and then we'll start the third hour and um, and the third hour we should say is pretty fun because you just let loose and then that's when your really weird things kind of happen. So yeah, I, I, kind yeah. of a fun process to see if you don't have other things going on. Oh, yeah. Also, you know, post your uh, post pictures of your drawings and 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 uh, if you do do that, tag them with uh, hashtag drink and draw with Ty. And um, uh, I appreciate that. I got, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you go now. I, it's, I, it's been, it's, it's bizarre. Yeah, thanks everybody. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I just, I feel so bizarre. I, I realize everything that's going on in, in the world. So it's so bizarre for me. I'm not pretending like it's not existing. It's just, um, there, there's places for things and there's, pla there's platforms for certain things. And Sometimes it's, it's nice to have a quiet retrospective break where we don't have to indulge in the outside world. Go, and go. so, yes, I've been biting my tongue all this session and but then just there's like a, there's letting a, it There's an argument to that go. to be like, well, uh, you don't bite your tongues. But, well, but for really, this. truthfully, it's for this. I it am is, it is, it's been it's bizarre. So I my 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 approach is just well, I want to just uh, I just want to I just want to draw, and uh, there's things to figure out from drawing, and um, so I appreciate you you joining us for that, and uh, continue to be good people. And uh, hey, we'll be back in five minutes to draw some more. We'll record the rest of this for those of you who have have to leave and uh, we'll, we'll see in about five more minutes everyone's drawings were looking amazing by the way um i'm glad that you you guys uh glad we got to do this together i'll be back in five minutes thank you so much and uh tag your drawings the drink and draw with ty and you can also do dndwt uh, hashtag dndwt i've been doing that i love seeing your guys' drawings it's so awesome thanks for uh joining me and uh we'll see you we'll see those of you who are leaving we'll see you sometime soon Thank you.
Those of you are staying, we'll see you in about five minutes. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.
I don't know how to do any other shapes. Oh. <laughs> He's making fun of my drawing. I was not. I was just wondering what the <laughs> triangles were on there. <laughs> okay, everybody. It's still here. I forgot to mention that I did move the drink and draws to uh, Thursday nights. Um, with 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 the summer coming up, and even though probably most places are still practicing like uh, you know quarantine sort of vibes, you still probably want to have your weekends like outdoors and your whatever. So Thursday night seems like a good night for them. Uh, yeah, so. I'm going to uh, put these two other alien heads in here because I, and I'm going to make them a little different. I think when I, this morning, I got up at like, uh, I got stuck watching the Beastie Boys documentary again last night. I was, it was like 1 a.m. I was so tired, but I love the Beastie Boys. They, they, not, you turned it off in the middle. Of I had to turn it off because it was like, creeping on 2 a.m. and I knew I had to get up early. Anyway, but this morning when I started drawing out this console and I started messing around with this, I was thinking of these two other aliens are, it's different looking than this one. I felt like it was a, their attempts, the attempt of this alien is to create better versions of things. And so, these two other side, here I'll show you, these two other side aliens that I was kind of drawing were like versions of itself that didn't quite work for some reason or another. So I want to just draw these little alien heads in here, additional alien heads. Almost the same as like with my drawing itself, I, I didn't like the eyes that I did. I actually wanted to do those elongated eyes like uh somebody did them yeah yeah i like those and then i was thinking of like et he's yeah. like has the strangest like hammerhead sharp head is that what you're doing now yeah well, i don't know <laughs> Uh-oh, that's the order notification. I love your t-shirt, by the way, Ty. Oh. What are you wearing? Okay. Yeah. Oh, the oh, unrest, uh, unrest Thompson, too weird to live, too weird to wear today. Oh, so I, she logged in. Wait, that's where I let in. No, there's no. Oh. Email. But are you not getting an email from her now? Uh, oh, I was, I'm gonna, I wanted to try to make this work up here. I'm very disappointed with my fetus, baby. My, my sketch I did this morning, I'm happier with. Maybe I should just go into that and shade it. No. You're still shading that baby? I don't like, I don't like where it's at. Oh. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> well, um, I'm interested to see how you change it with all the ink that's already there. I know you can. You can do it. Are you doubting me right now? No, it's just, cause sometimes you drive me crazy because I'll be like, okay, I'm going to bed. And then I go to bed and then I come downstairs and then there's like this masterpiece sitting on the fireplace that you just finished. Like you just pulled it out of your butt in the well, middle of the night while I was crazy. sleeping. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> does though. I'm like, how? How did you do that? Fine. And I then you, never. I don't know. I just don't understand. You just anything can be done, right? I know. I know you can do anything. No, I, I'm not saying that. I'm saying anything. You want to happen, you gotta just make it work. Anyway, I don't so, like this fetus in here. I'm interested to see you change that with all the ink that's currently there. 
I'm not saying you can't. I'm not I challenging know. you. It's not, it's just off. It's really off. Never mind. Oh, no conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, let him uh, hurt okay. her. Okay. But uh, no, it's okay. Oh, it's a I message. want to do our. We have, we, so he's doing the. He is doing the cryptic collabs. Okay. He's got. I have it. And I'm doing it with. The other artists, I just haven't finished my version of it. And so you want me to let them know? Yeah, because we were going to launch it this week, and I just, and I didn't. That's not him. That's her. Oh, yeah. I will get mine done, and I want to launch it, because it's, it's cool. His drawing's awesome. What kind of stuff are you guys adding to your, uh, I'm not, that I had, like what kind of additions have you guys added on there? Put some color on the fetus. What's that? I tried to put some color on the fetus. It's hard to uh, light it up though. Yeah, there's some, like there's some, like, there's some we, well I feel like that I have to do with mine to, separate that from the rest of the drawing. What happened was I got this thought about the, the highlight of the, the, the window glass and then that played into the biggest thing that I really liked was his eyes being closed. <laughs> so I'm trying to fix that issue. Yeah, I think maybe like some color. What are you doing? Like a, what kind of color? A different colored pen or like actually adding color to it? Well, I, I got a color pencil, like metallic green for the overall uh, yeah. globe. And then inside I colored the fetus skin like a metallic purple. Right, oh cool. I'll have to, I'll have to send you the, the finished photo when I'm done because my camera doesn't pick up very well. Yeah, I'd like to see it. Added a little bit of veins with some blue. Ah, veins. Veins is a good choice. Veins is a good choice. Yeah, you sounded really Missouri. Man. Or veins are a good choice, but I was actually thinking of veins being a singular vein, like vein. Like a, a vein. Because no. one single vein would be a good choice. Veins <laughs> as a whole is a good choice. Veins are a good choice. Okay. <laughs> However you get there. So I kind of answered a question. Um, what is your favorite pen? If you want to go further into detail on I that. Because yeah. right now my pen, the, the, all these pens have just been a complete nightmare to me. But these pens I've had probably for like five years, I've overworked them. <laughs> I can say this, I've been drawing with the ballpoint pen. I've been drawing pretty much my whole life. I have been making a living as an artist with my pen drawings over the last 15 years. Is that right, Val, Adrian? Uh, ballpoint, no. Um, 12. 12 the years of my pen 10. work. Or 10 years I've been making a living from my pen work you know, for the last 10 years. On um, that all is, comes from uh, like a constant, like uh, drawing, like I, I've been, I mean, I just always draw. But I've been so busy working on my gallery that's all I really have time for. Like, I literally am up first thing in the morning 
um, and I just go outside and work on the gallery, sun up till sun down. And uh, I really have not had much time to get any like drawing in. And that, that I tell even like young, young artists and young people always ask me like, what, what is for advice and stuff? And I'm always a constant drawing, constant practice. It's just like, just like a bodybuilder or, or a exercise nut or something like you, I'll, you, one week away from exercise has is a significant amount of time. And yeah, it's the it same. like you have to start over. Yeah, from the, the same thing with drawing. Even I think uh, 30 plus years I've been drawing, one week away from like not drawing at all, it's detrimental. <laughs> mm. And uh, like it doesn't help that I all of the manual labor that I'm doing is affecting my my grip and my wrist, but uh, well, I said it, but I was, but but the truth is, yeah, just constant drawing is is so important, and that's why a lot of people, like a lot of young young artists, when they ask me, like, how did you get what, what, like, how do you stay here, whatever, blah blah blah, but I'm, it's, I make a living off of it, so I'm able to do nothing but draw. So I can, if I wanted to, I can get up in the morning, draw all day, go to sleep. I mean, I don't, I don't have to go to a regular job. And uh, can I just clarify on the reality of that, though? Or should I not? I don't care. When you cannot sit still, period, ever. And so when we are like normal times at an art festival, you would go nuts if you couldn't draw. So it's the best place for you to draw. And frankly, you kind of struggle to draw at home there's so many other because things there's so much that you can be doing or yeah, the true. opportunity exists that you could be doing. And so it, it, it's actually um, a practice that you have to force yourself to do when we're not. So currently at the booth and so right now with you having the gallery to do it's even harder for you to justify making the time to do it so this has been good take my time to draw yeah yeah so this has actually been good it's it's forcing you to do i think that's do. what i was trying to get to like that that's the benefit of doing the drink and draws i think Because yes, I, I it's there's so many other things I got to get to when we're home. But three twelve-hour days sitting outside at a festival is like the perfect. Oh my god, I can get so much drawing done. At yeah, time. you can it. like zone out hard, and, <clears throat> and people love it. They appreciate seeing you work in action and live demonstration. Yeah, I, and who knows when festivals will ever get back. Mm -hmm. I mean, right, technically right now, we're supposed to be doing Schlafly soon. No, that's not till February. <laughs> what would you ask an alien if you met him today? Tomorrow, I'm sorry. You met the alien tomorrow. I, I mean, I appreciate the question, but I got to be honest. I don't think a, an alien is going to wait or give me the moment to ask any question. Okay, but what if you could? <laughs> what would you say? What would I say? What would I ask us, alien? I would I... wonder, is the Milky Way full of caramel? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That is not at all what I would. <laughs> I would want to know. Well, why does it have to be something to know? Hmm. What would I ask? Well, obviously, I would ask where 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 it was from. Yeah, I okay. So, based on your question, I think the way I would approach, I would approach it how I approach just any human because every human I come across, I think of as an alien. <laughs> but I, I think that that's how I would have to. But I mean, that's not going to service your question. Your, I guess your question is. Are you wondering philosophically what you, would you ask? Because really, I would want to know, like, where planet are you from, <laughs> first of all? 
A galaxy. Why are you why are you here? And oh yeah, that's that's a loaded question. <laughs> are you gonna eat us? <laughs> are you gonna eat, eat us? I'm trying to think of like then I start having visions of Mars attacks. Like I uh, my favorite thing about Mars attacks is well, no, I, well, I don't know my favorite, but I'm trying to think of like how they, they're all in the response to Mars attacks. I don't know what I, yeah. you want to know if there's caramel in the Milky Way. No, I don't. I, so I can't eat it anyway. There's milk <laughs> and caramel, butter. Oh, this fetus is going to make my head explode. Well, like, uh, was that Ben that said you, were you the one that said you colored yours? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to mess around with some color real quick. I don't know if it'll show up very well on my camera, but here it is. Oh, here, let me spotlight you. Hang on a second. Kind of, oh, here, I can look at my... Kind of dark in this area of my room. Oh, yeah. A little bit of green and purple. Oh, yeah, it's like a, a tornado green. Tornado. Tornado green. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to shade mine a little more, though, somehow. You uh, got rid of your horns today and opted for the pink hat. Yeah. Yep. Pink panther. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> That's what I need, dude. Oh, you need man. pink panther in your life? Yes. <laughs> I like, like, anytime I was feeling down, I, I'm just like, pink panther is just the best. <laughs> It's like the best laugh in the world. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what it was about, that like mission well, guy. Uh, yes. Not, not, I'm not talking about the cartoon. Pardon me, sir. Is that your dog? <laughs> huh? Was it it's not my dog. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, my, my, our, my, our audio was cutting out. <laughs> I don't. I I remember liking Pink Panther, but I have no. Like I've, I've kind of gotten lost now. All I see is insulation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Back to Juzo. Well, shit. Now I think I just destroyed this. I think they make that insulation here in Toledo. I think oh. it's Owen's Corning product. Oh. Because it's fiberglass, so Toledo's the glass city. You're in Toledo? Yep. I'm in Fremont. Oh, cool. Well, Perrysburg, actually, but, you know. Yeah, about a half an hour from me. Cool. No, oh, I just ruined this. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. Yeah, I like that orange. Well, I was kind of hoping it was going to be a little different, but I'm going to try to I'm going to try to fix it, and maybe I'll ruin it. Oh, I shaded the negative space between the ribs. <laughs> Do you need <clears throat> you need him to? Or you got it? Uh, I just got to change the shape of the rib. I just made that rib fatter. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, let's see. What's your problem? Oh, I, I tried to use these, I thought these were the wet ones that could, that I could blend a little easier. On this oh, paper. you made them a yellow baby. Well, I'm okay with the yellow baby. I just, I was gonna, I was gonna fade that out a little bit more. Mm. But these are different. They have a pastel. The water. Oh, 
he's kind of a water based man. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh well. I hate that, but I'm gonna just pretend like it's not there. I was asking about the East Coast, but what were those shows that you had done? Um, those indoor shows? It wasn't. Mon like the moniker show. Moniker and what else did we do? Out Super there? fine. Super fine was in Chelsea, and moniker was in. Well, the first year moniker was in Brooklyn. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I just had forgotten that we did New York a few times. The moniker yeah. show in Brooklyn was the best, and then when it moved to. Uh, was that in Chelsea? No, we didn't. Yeah, I don't know. They're 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 out of London, so. But yeah, we'll go. We haven't done Baltimore in a while because it coincides with another show we usually do in um, Michigan that is just closer to us, and then Pennsylvania is give and take on some, but. I'd love to go. Don't stop doing the Michigan show. Oh, I won't. I love I, I love Michigan. Well, yeah. Michigan's always been my joint. The one Michigan show that we probably end up, well, we're supposed to be there for Arts, Beats, and Needs, but yeah. we're going to be in uh, We put our bet. So we kind of put our bet on a neighborhood show might be better than um, a show that draws hundreds of thousands of people. I don't think Arts Beats and Eats is going to end up happening, to be yeah. honest. So we're going to be in St. Louis for that, assuming it goes forth for the Arts Beats and Eats weekend. <coughs> I don't think any shows are actually going to happen this year. <laughs> Maybe we could do the farmer's market. Just kidding. Grand Rapids, Ohio has the Apple Butter Festival that's always really big in uh, October, I think it is. The yeah. Apple Huge. Butter Festival, is it a, they sell art? It's a yeah, teeny weeny little town and they get like 180,000 people on that weekend. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Total it's a school district where I teach in, it's crazy. Apple it's like uh, Michigan's art and, art and Apples show. <laughs> huh. and, and that's where? In the Grand Rapids, Ohio. It's tiny. It's southwest of Toledo. But the town turns into this Mecca. Everybody that lives there runs and hides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's only on Sunday. That's the weird thing. One oh, day. That's one day. Wow. So you okay. get in, get out. Get in, make cash, and get out. We did um one day shows are so difficult. We used to do this one on Haight Ashbury in San Francisco. Wait, was that that... Question? Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Can you show us how to do the face. Oh yeah. yeah. Um but we used to do this one on Haight and Haight on Haight and Ashbury in San Francisco and that was so difficult because you had to 500, go. Five hundred five hundred twenty thousand five hundred and twenty or at least five hundred thousand people in eight hours. Oh, <laughs> have to go and set up at like three in the morning and then it was just this how does anybody get close enough to anybody's booth to look you can't it's crazy it was it's literally just people filing it's crazy yeah so i yeah those one days are really difficult for anybody unless then, you have yeah, an easy five, setup yeah, the police just like totally just walk down and push everybody out it's crazy and you're in Hayden Ashbury, which is a crazy town in something somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I remember I was trying to get back to our booth as the kids, and they were just toddlers, and I was walking with them, and our son fell asleep walking, like because you just couldn't get through the crowd, and it was going so <laughs> slow. He was asleep and walking. <laughs> it was like a cat. It was cattle. He couldn't move. 
I think I'm gonna do this alien, just one, like a cyclops. Did you show Olivia how to do the tentacles? Oh, were we going, was I supposed to go to yeah. the tentacles? You need to show her how to do the face on the I tentacles? I thought she was about the face on the tentacles, which would be the... Oh. These two other ones. So do you mean the tentacle button thing or the actual face, Olivia? Suction button. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait. Well, is that, is that what we have? <coughs> you can unmute and answer. Or send a message. Um, just show her how to do both, I guess. Um, the face, uh, the actual face, so your yeah. alien face. Not, not the suction. Yeah, I'm doing, uh, I guess I'm doing two different ones. So I'm doing one with the super big elongated eyes. And then one with a single cyclops, kind of. Cycl yeah. Uh, whenever I do a cyclops, whenever I, I regret it the second I draw the eye. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I just never like drawing cyclops. These ones, I, I think. These aliens' heads, I kind of um, was using it as um, ways to do, ways to just try something different than what I did on this head. <laughs> right, because so, you don't want to repeat yourself. Maybe yeah, I don't want to repeat myself. And there, maybe I... Maybe there was something in here that I regretted doing and then I'd be like, oh, I'll just use this head to do that. So you kind of are doing your Area 51 kind of alien over there. This one? Yeah. Yeah, kind of now I feel like it didn't go that way. Yeah, it's got like some big cheekbones. I want to do like a what's that show how oh, I'm embarrassed but what's the cartoon where the char character has this long like tail coming off of it out of his head what's that a Robocop no it's a cartoon it's, well, it doesn't matter. Did you do a RoboCop with one eye? I did a RoboCop drawing years ago. I know, with one eye. Well, thanks, Heather. Uh, well, RoboCop has this, that his, oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. But his mask has this. Future. Future? I don't, look on your, your slide there. What was I it? think Olivia's talking about your, um, are you thinking about the snorks? Oh! No. <laughs> they had. No, I did. I, I, th I think that I have this drawing in here that's for the snork looking. It would have had to have been early, early 80s. I'm something from Star Wars. No, I'm thinking it's like he's like a super. I want to see he's like a superhero. Or what is the guy, what's Flea, doesn't Tick have a friend? Are you talking about Earthworm Jim? Yeah. It is Earthworm Jim that has, like, he has the... Yeah, because he's an earthworm and he, like, he has a space suit <laughs> and then it's just the one wor worm part that comes out. I love Earthworm Jim. That's who I'm thinking about. Is that about. he man? I've never even heard of Earthworm Jim. No, not Jim. He's, uh, he's based off of a Super Nintendo game and then they WB turned him into a cartoon. <laughs> 
That was you a great asked, game. That's exactly who I was thinking of, Earthworm Jim. <laughs> wow, I've never even heard of this. I've never heard of him. He's a worm game. that fell into a super suit and it gave him human like power, well, superhuman powers. It's super buff, right? Yeah. yeah. That'd be a cool like, drawing right there. He has like a blob snot thing that he can, that he uses for some, I can't remember what that character was. But there's like this green blob snot companion huh. he has. <laughs> I don't remember that one. He's got a cannon. He's got like a ray, like a big ray gun cannon thing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the main bad guy was like this cat that was basically the devil. Like a black cat that was evil. All the cats in the movies and the show. Cats, well, cats are slightly evil. Oh, they are. Or they're very sinister. <laughs> I don't know what I've done there. Yeah, it's actually working on an earthworm gym drawing. That's funny. A couple weeks ago. Never finished it, but. I might have to try one. Well, my dad's a bit like a big fan. That's like his favorite Super Nintendo game, so. Oh, cool. I don't know why I never played that. I never, I don't know why I don't know anything about, I just know something. Well, I mean, you know Sonic. Did I you don't ever really. I've never played Sonic. That's, That's what I mean. Anyway. You never, but you know who he is. You never Not Dreamcast, him. right? What was Sonic? Yeah, yeah, he was. Sonic was on every Sega system. He started on Master System and then, well, it was dual release for Master System and Genesis. I've got a Sonic problem. <laughs> I remember when the Dreamcast game came out, it was like the most graphically. It was awesome. It was amazing. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I had that. I charged. That was like when I got my first credit card and I charged a Sega Dreamcast a credit card. <laughs> yeah. First system that had a modem in it. Oh. You know, one of my favorite games ever of all time, and I, I have it memorized from when I was a kid. I know it, I can still, I have probably haven't played it for 30 something years, but I know at least the first six boards I could go right through. But this game called Jumpman on Atari. Huh. Yeah, it was like, you know, it was one of those actual, like, it was a floppy, like, it was not a floppy disk, it was one of those, you know, like the square size like disk. Tongue. No, no. The cartridge. It's stuck no. in. What are they called? Five and three quarters. A square yeah. cartridge. This that looks like uh, how do they look? Like something like that. Oh, I can't yeah. yeah. Like. And it's kind of flimsy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a floppy disk. Was it? Is that a? But but aren't the aren't the floppies a little harder? Well, I don't know. I didn't like. I remember they had. No. Maybe Jumpman didn't have that. Maybe Jumpman. Maybe Jumpman was on the Commodore? No. I had it for the Commodore. The Com I, had it, I had it on one of those big floppy disks. Yeah, was Commodore the, the, the floppy disk like that? Yeah, they had it. Because I had an Atari and it was like big squares. Yeah, the Atari had this cartridge, right? Yeah. What is, what is this character you're saying? Jumpman. Oh my god, I love all you, you, so you. It was literally like a stick figure, so it was pixels like. No, oh, no, that's jump. That's my Michael Jordan. Uh, <laughs> Jumpman. I guess I don't. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a Commodore. My wife. It says Mario. Or a laser disc with a video format, like that's early that. DVDs. That's it. That's Jumpman right there. Atari 8-bit Commodore 64, Apple II, and IBM. Yeah, I I I think ours must have been that Atari 8-bit. For those oh my who are gosh, curious. I love that game. Well, they might be not looking at your screen. Well, but I there's usually a few so up in the top there. You just jump and grab a, like, you would just grab these little flower, like, oh, wow. man. 
I like how intense video games that are. That would not hold the attention of a kid now. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever play Load Runner? Yeah, I like Load Runner. Yeah. You know, what arcade game was so great that we used to play all the time. There was this place called the Galleria in Salt Lake City, Utah. It was just it was this gigantic building of arcades. But there was this old game. It was like Dragon's Lair. It was called Cliffhanger. Huh. Man, it was just like that. You know, Dragon's Lair, where it was like the game was like it'd say, press left, the joystick, press right, press. Just like that. It was amazing. Yeah. I don't play any games anymore. I don't even. Every time I start playing a game, I feel like I should be drawing. Hmm. Laser disc, not laser disc. Laser disc. <laughs> I don't know when you went out and ran out and bought a bunch of laser discs. <laughs> I don't, because I never did. <laughs> that was like, uh, what was the, the, what was, what came out um, when uh, DVDs were coming out? Oh yeah, that was, um, that was laser discs. No, there was something else that started coming out and they were, oh, blue, blue, Blu-ray. <laughs> Well, those kind of still hold, I think. I think some people have them. Well, yeah, some people still have laser disc. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> I mean, I mean, some people still have them, just like you still have. You can't lay them on anything. <laughs> laser disc player. <laughs> I know a guy. You know a guy. I know a guy. Well, that's what VHS is now. Like I have so many. Well, we threw out both. He's on the east side of Toledo, right? So many VHS. Oh, Perrysburg is uh, south, a little bit south. Uh, yeah, about south of Toledo. Oh, I was teasing about the east side. My friend's from there. She makes fun of herself. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, Perrysburg, yeah. you had a good store that has a lot of retro game systems and probably laser just too. <laughs> I have a feeling I've had to take my son there. I think plot. I still have an old zip drive somewhere. <laughs> hmm. What was the size of a zip drive? <laughs> size like, of a zip drive? Like what you could fit like five megabytes on? <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> More than a floppy disk. Can we fit on me more? You know, on the, uh, on this, what is this, a uh, nuclear symbol? Or is it a top, what, what's the symbol again? Biohazard. Biohazard? I think that's nuclear. Oh. That's nuclear. Biohazard has the spikes. Oh, that's oh. right. Wow. Does it matter um, where they end, where these end up? Like, whenever I'm drawing, I'm always like, does it matter if I have the two on the top, one on bottom? I've no, never, that's fine. I don't know. I've never really known. That's about right. Yeah, one of the first tattoos I ever did was a biohazard uh, symbol on a, on a guy's shin. <laughs> Not the, you know, the actual biohazard one. That's really difficult to do. The, uh, the getting those, because the, you know, that. Trying to, even, I'm just going by memory, but what's that shape? It's like something kind of like that, right? Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's the biohazard, yeah. Really difficult oh, to do, that's though. Right. That's Remember the biohazard yeah. by your shin? <laughs> oh, that looks like a bomb now, like a yeah. biohazard bomb. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Ooh. I want to do like a. I haven't drawn one of those in a long time, like an old bomb. <laughs> Wick. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, it kind of looks like a rat, too. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. Like the eyes could be ears and his chin could be a nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be doing this big rat mural here in town soon. Rats are fun to draw. Yeah. 
Oh. Olivia, was it Olivia, right, that was asking about the, I don't know if about I even the heads? got around getting around to your question, but this is how I was going to do my heads. <laughs> Okay, bye, bud. Where are you going, Sol? He's going on a bike ride. Um, Gary's, did you finish asking, saying to Olivia what you wanted to say? I think so. Okay. Did you do something about Gary? Yeah, he's saying, um, have you tried a wider barrel pen? or yes. a grip to take the pressure off your fingers. Do you remember those things that they sold for kindergartners to help hold onto the pencil? Yes. <laughs> Maybe you need that. I don't. Well, so I, so if you notice my, I don't know if anyone else holds how, this, how I hold my pen. So, uh, but basically it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm, there's no force grip, there's nothing. It's actually just sitting on my, just sitting on my third, Whatever this yeah, thing. you kind of skip a finger. Yeah, so there's no pressure. I, there's no holding pressure. There's nothing. It's just it's basically just sitting there. Um, so my 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 issue is not obviously not. It's not from the drawing. It's just from so the labor I've been doing is lots of grip, gripping a hammer, gripping a drill. It's just a constant. Uh, so it cut. So it's. I'm building a, oh, what's the, so there's a lot of tension around my wrist and arm. And so uh, also my forearms start to get thicker when I'm doing that kind of work. Like I don't work out my forearms all that much. I'll do um, squeeze exercises to make sure all these tendons are staying movement and stuff. But what's happening is I'm, there's so much, uh, there's more muscle growing in here and the tension pulling on, from that grip, it's uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's swelling up in my wrist, and it's blocking mm -hmm. tension from my uh, the tendons from uh, getting. Uh, Has anybody ever said carpal tunnel? <laughs> it, I, so I don't. It's not. It's it's literally. It's only happening just because of uh, all the manual labor I've been doing. Uh, outside I don't because it's happened every year when you've worked on the it building only happens when I'm working on the building and and I know and I can feel it I know it's I'm just not getting a blood flow to to my fingertips so we've been doing wrist stretches I to do. kind of straighten I do. those out Good morning I do the wrist stretches um, and then I'll do this thing's awesome this uh oh I, yeah this roller so I'll roll out everywhere like, wow. good idea this thing's really awesome but it's really like just it's it's really just from the, the actual labor because um like i said when my drawing I, there's not i'm not doing strange movements like i don't do a lot of wrist bending um or uh, if, you know maybe there'll be something elbow but most of it the pen's just sitting in my hand there's no grip uh and it's just a, a movement so I've never had any issues. So it's not from my drawing. I, I, I mean, I, I know that just because anytime it happens from when I'm doing labor, this kind of, it's that, it's that gripping a hammer or constant grip of a drill or something. You're gripping like that all day long. I and see. you're just not used to your, this area, your wrist and forearms are not used to that. I still think it'd be cute if you draw, if you drew with a kindergarten like mm -hmm. thing. do you really think that would be cute yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hi i found this at a uh, a craft uh, festival it's a lead holder like made out of wood it's like a woodworker made it but i can open it up and put a, a pen basically take the inside of a big pen out and put it inside of it and that is kind of how it so how helps me because i can grip it better it's much wider. Is it, is it thick? Oh yeah. 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 So see, like, so I have these uh, these thick uh, bus oh, three cool. grips. So I put this yeah. I put this in there until it that's sweet. It's in the it sticks out, so I can turn the lead holder into a pen because it grips right. the end of the pen. So 
Yeah. So I, that like what I so like what I was saying like it, um, on, the yet. thicker that when that grip is. So I have these. I, I can't use them because. Oh okay. It's um. I mean, I say I can't use them. I obviously I could use them, but it's that thick. The thickness there. It cause like when I'm holding, when I'm holding my pen like that. Um, yeah. A little bit of rest, like a little bit of a rest, these two fingers resting on this, not a lot, but when this, when I have a, like a bigger pen, it's so thick, I can feel a pressure in between these two fingers that, that starts to bother me. And then I start going to how most of you guys use a pen. And uh, that is, that's like drawing with the left hand for me. <laughs> I my pen like that, but I like you naturally my body makes myself do that because it's so thick. So I, yeah, the thinner for me is, uh, you know, it's just like one of those things that you get so used to. Yeah. I, I could probably do it, but I, I, like I said, I don't, I, I don't really have any tension in, in here. Oh. Hey, sorry, I thought my. I well, I was trying to do an update, and I thought that that happened to the whole uh, Zoom video. But yeah, no, thing, that's awesome when you have that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that just I don't think that would work for me. My mine's uh, definitely from the. My dad used to sleep because he's a brick mason. He was a brick mason, so he. Do you want me to spotlight you? Well, it does. No, he but he, I mean, he he's a brick mason, but he mostly laid block. And it, I remember, like, he would, when he'd sleep at night, like, he would sleep with his, well, I guess you could, but, like, he would sleep, like, he would sleep like that, just holding, but I know, I think my mom's still on, but I know that he would, like, just in constant pain, always. Um, yeah, I, I was, I did a lot of pottery. I was a big potter, and oh, I yeah. did so much ceramic work with all this. Yeah. So mine's, mine's all on my thumbs, like, there's no cartilage left in my thumbs. Oh, yeah. So that's why the wider, the bigger pen. Yeah, you could. Be, you know, it takes the pressure off a bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, because there's there's less um, of that like gripping. I guess I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to think. What is the natural, the natural like your hand resting is probably not open. It's kind of like that. It's kind of loose like that. Like your natural. So when I, so right now, my, like, this is my natural, which feels off, awkward because my thumb, I can feel, I can feel the swelling in my finger, all my fingers. I can just feel how swollen they are. Just, you know, from being, from that gripping, like that constant. So yeah, I do those when we, we run every morning and while I'm running, I'll just do this the whole time to try to keep those loose, but I can feel it in there. Only a couple, only another month, and then we'll be finished with this gallery and the property, and then I can get back to. To what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how other like how other artists been doing, but I I really do. I'm struggling like sitting down and and drawing. Like I just I've really been struggling to do it. And normally you would think, I think in retrospect, after this all passes, I, I might, I might have a lot more to, to uh, say or feel about it. But right now, just in the midst of it, I, I can't, it just doesn't, it's not working. <laughs> You're processing it, I guess, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I have a process. I can't, it's too weird. Yeah, you're right. You were right, Aiden. You mentioned something earlier about these drink and draws are, are nice because it is. I'm able to just draw, and I've got to kind of be here. That's what's nice about the festivals. Right, it forces you to there twelve to, hours to, to draw. draw, and you get a lot done, and you really hone in on that. But when we say forces, it sounds like like I don't want to be there, but. But you couldn't I'm, I'm sit forced still. Forced to be in one spot, yeah. Right. Like, I will easily read a novel during that time. 
And I won't any other time, but what else do I have to do? I'm not reading now. Yeah, my favorite part about this the third hour is I am able to just um, just draw, not discuss what I'm doing, because that's where I can't, I'm not able to be free. And I have to discuss it, I, which is fine, that's, that's fine, but I do like this third hour where I can just, where stuff just starts happening. Oh, I didn't even shade those rib cage. <laughs> those rib cage. Well, I'm telling you, it's not Missouri. <laughs> it's getting it's in here. Someone <laughs> sounding too. Plural, uh, what's the one? Veins. You want some popcorns? Yeah. <laughs> your grandma. I sound like your grandma. That's what I was doing. She was. Try hat. She was like, you. I can't do her accent, but I remember like the first time I met her, she was like ordering me to get in line to serve food. And I was like, what are you? She was like, you are a girl. Basically, she was saying, you're female. Get in this line and serve people, is what she was saying in her cute little voice. I'm curious, Ola, are you there? I see that you're on here. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering where you are from. Oh, maybe she just left. Or he. No, no, uh, I'm here. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, so I'm from Krakow. Uh, is the city in Poland? You're the one from Poland. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, have we been talking to her? I didn't realize. I don't know. You're. Are you guys? Is your is your boyfriend or your husband or partner? What about it? No, 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 no. This is O L A, oh. not you. This oh. is. And I'm t I'm gonna look up. Uh, so there is there is Ula and Ola. Ah, I see. <laughs> I, actually, I actually, Ula and John Marco. We are from Luxembourg. And uh, Ola, Ola is my niece in from Poland. <laughs> That's the second ticket we both died. <laughs> that was your niece who you were talking about who you did, signed and, up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's a, she's a very young, uh, talented uh, illustrator. Awesome. So I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious what she will be. Because she's hiding there. I don't see her. I think she's hiding. But I, yeah. I'm so, I want to see her result. <laughs> Most people have taken to hiding in these, I've noticed. Maybe they realized I was spying on their art in the no, background. Say that. No one realized that. <laughs> I that. How do you... I swear, we almost went to your city. I'm just looking. What was it called? Oh, she'd be better to tell you than me. So I'm just seeing where it was because I know I looked at it because we went up, okay, so we went up, oh, we went to Rokla. Is that how you say it? Rokla, Poland? It's Rokla. Yes. Yeah, well, so at the border between Germany and Ger yeah. close to the German border. Mm. And, mm. But I had looked at Crow Clock because it has, if I remember right, it seemed like that part of Poland was completely rebuilt, wasn't it, after World War II? Yes. Mm. Yeah, it got yeah. like decimated and rebuilt. Yeah, I do remember a little bit of that. Warsaw, that is the capital, Warsaw, is the yeah. capital of Poland, and it was also rebuilt, and actually Krakow is the only city, or um, one of the cities in Poland that were not really heavily destroyed by the oh, yeah. World War, so there is still, you know, the uh, the old castle of the kings, or there is really very, uh, very uh, oh, big where part you of 
Polish history in Krakow, but it's it's very close to Wrocław. It's like two hours, uh, three hours drive. Yeah. Wait, so where did we end up then? When we did, we went. To, I'm pretty sure we went to Wrocław. We were in the mount. We were the ski, re the mountain. The that doesn't sound familiar at all. That one right there. Well, <laughs> pointing to whatever you see on the map. Or that, or the, the beast with the wings and the, uh, yeah, the cave okay. thing. That was cool. What were you doing there? We, we you did. know what? We just, he had an art show in Denmark, and we thought, well, since we're all the way over here, and we don't have any art festival starting for another month or two, we'll just rent a car and just go wherever we want. And so we basically drove around the perimeter of um, Germany and this was in February. We were there for six six weeks or something we just rented a car and drove from Denmark down to Italy and then back up um, from the uh, uh, you know and following along the border of East Germany and West Germany. It was, it was so awesome. <laughs> but we, we really didn't spend a whole lot of time in Germany itself. We kind of went to all the countries that surrounded Germany. You know what sucks though? There was like at one point when we were driving, wherever we were headed, I think we were headed to like uh, Belgium or so. I don't, I don't remember, but I just remember seeing this, the, we wanted to try to catch as many countries as possible. And I just remember seeing the street sign that said Luxembourg was like, uh, like just like uh, 70 more kilometers or something. Like it, I, but we were, it was in the, just a little bit more of a different direction. Luxembourg would be cool. It's just such a we tiny, just skipped, tiny spot. We ended up having to skip it because we were running out of time. But yeah, we skipped I do that. regret skipping that. It's that 75. It's a city, you know, that you can, it's a very small country, smallest right. in the European Union, and it's squeezed between the yeah, German, Belgian, French border. Yeah. And uh, actually, the, the, the whole city, you can visit it without probably within uh, two hours. Yeah, we ended up. <laughs> Yeah. Next time you come, <laughs> yeah, it's very beautiful. We didn't see it, so it gives us a reason to, to uh, next time we go, we can see. And also the other thing, even though we didn't go, we ended up going again. We ended up, and I ended up buying my first uh, Salvador Dali piece in uh, at the um, in Belgium. In, in Belgium. <laughs> Bruges. Oh. Oh, that wasn't Bruges. That was next to and the tower. That's the tower of Bruges. We went Hi. to nice. Bruges. Jesse Kremlova been in. Jesse Kremlova is awesome. I love that. Oh, I'm sorry. I loved it over there. I just I constantly dream about being in Europe. Like I just it's my the, every time I've gone, it's just it's just my it's my speed. Everything about it is 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 just right up my alley. There are plenty of festivals for artists, so definitely you should plan the. No, <laughs> we would love to. I don't know if we could get. I mean, well, he would have to create the work there. Yeah, that's the only issue is I'd have to create the artwork there and do because I would have to pay taxes on all everything that I took over to sell. Yeah. Which is fine, but yeah. it's just hard to. But that's okay. We that have to be too. there long enough and stay somewhere long enough. But I do need to be somewhere else. So I have art, uh, so I have a gallery in France and a gallery in Denmark. But I would like to be even more places that have my work. You were in uh, France, in Lyon last yeah. year. Yeah. This year. This year. This year. I moved back to the States right when, right, like I remember landing in the Paris, at the airport in Paris right when the pandemic was like not the pandemic but when it was like really hitting everywhere and i remember everybody at the paris airport was wearing masks and i remember how bizarre that was and my wife kept messaging me saying because i was i had to go by myself and she was like you better get a mask and some and i was kind of laughing it off i was like there's no way that's gonna end up in in the united states <laughs> and then you said 
Mm, that's what we all thought. <laughs> and he said, and then I heard this as he had a few drinks and we were in a conversation with someone else a month oh, later. Yeah. Then he was like, and this, this person in front of me was wearing a Wuhan jacket. She wasn't, like, <laughs> no, she wasn't, yeah, she sat in a seat, right? Yeah, right up, and she was like, literally, like, she, her, she had the long overcoat and, and she had the Wuhan symbol on the, said Wuhan on the back of the, her jacket on the back. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why that was, it was just so bizarre because right then was when it was really just, it had, uh, it was taken over everywhere. That was bizarre. So the place we went to in Poland was actually Karpach. 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 Yeah. It was awesome. like a little ski town. Yes. You and can get yeah, a very nice uh, place for skiing. Yeah. Karpa, it's Karpach, but it's yeah, uh, uh, close to Wrocław. That is yeah. bigger. See? Mm. It was very a very cute town yeah, like and quaint. And it was was before we realized the kids were allergic to dairy and we just kept buying this smoked cheese that was so <laughs> what do you call those it was like a log they come in like a lot like it's like a log in like a in a breaded like a hot dog almost like a just a log of cheese mm. it was in a mold i think it's i think it's special to, to oh. that town but hey, somebody wants to know how you shade the suction cups oh yeah i was getting to those and then i got kind of sidetracked Okay, let's, uh, let's shade these suction cups. I haven't even, I always draw tentacles and I still haven't quite figured out how I shade those. But, um, I'll zoom down in here. Oh, I can feel the sunlight's gonna hit, sorry, my page. Hold on, let me, there we go. I don't like drawing. I love being outdoors, but I hate drawing outside with the sun shining because it will just completely blind you. Okay, let's do these suction cups. So explain how you do it. Well, I, I'm going to try. I really don't know how I do them. I just end up doing them all the time. But, uh, so I think, oh man, let's, I think that they drop a sh shadow instead of me trying to verbally explain it i'll i'll just start drawing it and uh if i think of like exact words that's going to help that explanation i will explain that but so it looks like you're outlining the circle a little darker and then you're creating a shadow about halfway in with another little circle in the middle and a circle on the outside right? um, again i'm telling you when i'm doing these i i i just Okay, we'll help no, you're good. No, you explain out. It. You explain it. I'm serious. Because I don't really know. So I want you to explain what's happened. <laughs> no, I'm really, I... Well, you've given it an eyebrow. Oh, yeah. There you go. See, I wouldn't have thought of that. And then you shade it halfway down. And then you give it a, a partial circle like a speaker. Like a little tweeter. Okay. I like that. But I don't know. I don't know. I Brooke, promise you. This, is that either. helping you at all? <laughs> <laughs> I I know. I'll, I am. Every time I draw these tentacles, I'm I'm really just like uh, finding my way through it. Um, and I'm not trying to like, avoid it. I I just I'm gonna get to how I can explain it to you. I just. So you're also shading the portion around it and leaving a portion of it white yeah because so i think it maybe there, it's slightly protruding out of there and oh man i wish i could i've just never really um broke it down on how i'm doing it so that's what i'm dealing with right now i'm trying to figure out how i can explain it to you but I feel like while we're, I'm babbling, I'm going to draw this and maybe you're going to get the sense of what I'm doing. And I might stumble into how, what I am doing. Brooke, how are yours looking? So when they start turning okay. like this, okay. when they start, okay. when they start turning like this, then I feel like that's when you start uh, adding this shape because you're actually seeing 
only the side of it. <laughs> Like in this one, you're kind of. Oh man, I'm I'm really sorry. I I've never really broke down how it's how it's happening. And every time I approach new tentacles, I'm like, why did I do these tentacles again? Because I have no idea what I'm doing. And then for some way or another, they end up looking like tentacles. I feel like that's how all my art has been my whole life is I just keep pushing and pushing and pushing until it. I have to go, Ty. Huh? I have to go. Okay, thank you. It was fun again. Thanks for joining us. I look forward to seeing yours. Oh, yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> Cheers. I'm not looking up anything. Oh, what are you drawing? I'm not drawing anything. You gave up on your drawing? Oh, I kind of forgot I was drawing anything. I didn't give up. I just forgot. Yeah. I knew it just finished. This band, I mean, I will never associate, I will never hear Alberta Cross and not think of living in Chicago for mm -hmm. that short little stint. I, I can't even remember where they're from, but I, it's either, whenever I hear it, I always They're not, they're, I thought they were European. I thought they were from, or technically not. I, I thought so. they were from the UK. I don't think so, but I don't know. I'll tell but you. I always think of, uh, Chicago or Austin because the first time I ever saw that well first time I ever saw them they were on the Carson Daly show <laughs> that was when I first downloaded it. and then I and then I saw them on the that trailer that show in Austin where they do the concert inside the trailer <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry I zoned out they're from London Alberta Cross mm -hmm. yeah. what did you say thank you Saying thank you to Adrian. Right? When I, I know when I see Adrian, that, I go, is it Adrian or Adrian? I do too. I don't know. Which is odd since we share such a similar or, or maybe yours. exactly. It's Adrian. Is oh, it Adrian? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My wife's name is Adrian, but hers is the I E N N E. So every time I see that Adrian spelling, I'm like, thank you so much. Have a good thank one. You. Have a good one. I look forward to um, looking at your apartment again next time. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Chicago. No, we need to go up there. I don't, what are we going to do? We're going to get takeout from the Chicago diner. What we're gonna do. Go to Boys Town and get some food. And then drive back here. No, we're not doing that show. Oh. I'm going to go to the gallery and drop off some art for when they need it. <laughs> yeah, especially being from here. They're like, wait a minute, wait. Can we look at people's drawings? Have we done oh, enough drawings? Uh, we totally have. We don't have many left, but we can look. Let's see, Brian's ready. Oh yeah, let's check out some of the drawings, you guys. Why don't you look at that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. Um, uh, I like that. that, that it's that um, the trunk shipping. sort of dangling the ears and the yeah, it's awesome. Thanks, man. I gotta go walk the dogs now. Sorry. Ah, that's all right. Oh. Had a great time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good one. I like the little dangling astronaut there. That's fun. Yeah, I like I haven't the, been very good with shading. I, I like the toes. I like the feet, little toes going on there. That's fun. <laughs> How awesome.
awesome. You know, I always love blue pen. Cool. Nice, John. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yes. How cool. Nice. Kelsey's? Yep. Awesome. Oh, and happy birthday. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it a lot. No, you put just oh, so much sorry. detail in there. Yeah, <laughs> Right. Kimberly, did I already show yours? I don't think so. Oh, awesome. Uh, oh, mm, looks like he's jumping around. Wow, so cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go, from Poland. Wow. Wow, yeah. Great Where's shading on the eyes. In? All of it. Yeah, that is awesome. Really good. I always say sometimes at this point when I see those, I go, oh, and I start hating mine. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the third hour becomes more drink than draw. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I got up early and mowed the lawn. I know. I say, well, I mean, I was up too. You but were up early. I know. I I don't know. Like for those of you who are here, you might not know. I so, um, I actually, uh, I don't like to partake of anything when I'm drawing. Like when I'm actually creating, these drink and draws are strictly like for, just for some fun and kind of drawing and hanging out with you guys but when i'm drawing uh like a piece that i'm um, i don't do commission work but when i'm drawing a piece of artwork that i'm going to be that i know is going to be for a gallery or for sale or something um or just in general when i draw i i prefer to be 100 percent sober not only prefer to be but just demand it i don't i don't drink or i don't do i don't smoke any weed i don't do anything when i'm drawing because um I discovered that I'm much more creative. The uh, reality in the my sober world is uh, way stranger than, <laughs> than when I'm having a drink or something. And I we discovered that because that's I, all my, I have all my drawings from when I was a when I was in elementary school and when I was a teen young teenager and they all had that creativity already in there and I don't like to. I don't know. I just, you know, now I'm rambling, but. Now you're having drinks. Now I'm having drinks. That's right. This is what, but what that's what do. this is. This is, yeah, this is to drink and draw. Like we're hanging out, drawing, having fun. And uh, I do know my lines get sloppier and I actually start thinking a little bit more and I don't like to think when I draw. So. That makes sense. Yeah, I like it to just come out of my subconscious. You also don't like reasons. Thank you, Gary. Thanks for joining us again. It's summer break. Unless he's retired. I don't think he's retired. I don't remember. Gary, you're not are you still you're not still teaching, are you? Or did you already leave? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still. We just we just finished um, this year uh, last Friday. It's so summer break. We just finished. Our, I mean, uh, summer break, but school's been out for. <laughs> not really, though. No, I know. I yeah, know. we've been we've been doing online for the past nine weeks. So. Right. Yeah. Yes, Which is it's a different headache. Uh. <laughs> yeah, much different. Um, I, I've actually taught virtual school. I taught. I taught uh, High school photography for Florida Virtual School for a while, and it was set up for 
that platform. And unfortunately, our schools were not set up for this. So it's like, it was just, uh, you know, we're doing the best we can to, to do what we can. But it's, uh, I don't know, hopefully in the future, we'll be more prepared. But I'm sure we have no we have no idea what's going to happen going forward, but um, it's been an interesting ride the past you know yeah. month, three months. For sure. Well, have a wonderful summer break. Hopefully, we'll see you next. Thanks. Yes, you too. I'll see you in the the next one. I'm uh, so I already signed up for the next two. So. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <Are> you <laughs> see there? you soon. Yep. <clears throat> Take care. You too. Cheers. What are the subjects for the next two? Um, the, the next one is chimpanzee. Okay. Um, and then grasshopper. Okay. Oh, cool. I was hoping you'd do some kind of a bug. <laughs> I love drawing. You know what's weird? Like when I, whenever I'm coming up with a schedule, it's not out of like a creative moment. It's like I'm, I'm sitting at my off my desk uh where i have that so that stuff i hate like when i gotta sit at my desk and like update the website and do all that administrative stuff that's when i feel the least creative and so i so it always is like oh i just i gotta come up with a schedule i knew i had to come up with a schedule so like what am i what am i gonna do and then my wife reminded me to do a grass on well <laughs> and we could have done that Ada, really because it's supposed to be you know how they're having well the grasshopper is good too because the locust and um i like right? grasshoppers though they're fun they're going crazy in africa and in india but i think that they said that they were supposed to have a crazy cicada like mob i don't even know how that's possible since they're in the ground for 12 years cicadas are trippy man you could have done that too yeah well you guys got the cicadas in ohio oh yeah yeah, I've never seen the seventeen-year ones, uh, but we have and we have yearly ones, the green ones that come up. So yeah. is this a seventeen? So we're new to the cicada thing. I mean, it's like five or six years new, really. But they're saying something about some weird cicada thing this year. Is that a seventeen-year? Then whatever you're talking about. It could be, but I'm. I haven't. Uh, I haven't really heard anything. Um, but normally, I think when there's a lot of them, they're the seventeen-year ones. I'll have to look into it. Oh, you're exactly right. Two days ago, 17 year cicadas make a comeback. Yeah, they're trippy. I don't even, <laughs> I've never heard of a 17 year. So do I think those ones are black with red eyes. They're really cool looking. Cool. You know what I want to do a drawing of at some point is what are those ones, Adrian, that totally are like, uh, uh, what's that artist that so likes? Uh, Dick, uh, fairy ones the ones that, remember we saw first time we ever saw one was here in hannibal oh it was a, a, a lunar moth oh the lunar moth oh i'm seeing this picture of this red eyed cicada <laughs> that thing's creepy a yeah. summer 2020 near or so summer near 2020 has another trick up its sleeve <laughs> this time it's cicadas well, what do they do what what is what are they what are they do they do anything different or do they just look different I think they look different, but they might make a different noise. I, I don't know. Yeah, because that seems to be the only thing they really do is make noise. Yeah. I don't know if they what they eat or... I think they eat tree sap, but they only... The adults cannot feed. They don't have mouths. They can only feed when they're in their larval form or their whatever. That's they, what I... Was that which, when, that, what... That's when they shed the, that whole gel thing right yeah they they crawl out of the ground in their larval form and i think that's when they can feed and then right when they emerge from it as an adult they're they don't have any mouth anymore and that's their mating phase wow um, yeah they're really trippy and they look so cool yeah. <laughs> they like they leave these weird exoskeleton things on your posts and yeah. trees and we stuff. have a bunch i too but that's that will be one that I want to draw. I don't think I'll, that one I don't think I'll do as a drink and draw because I've been wanting to do one as like a, a drawing. But the drink and draw ones, I can't spend enough time on detail, you know, on a piece. So that one I'm going to preserve for a, but I have this photograph of one of those ones with those exoskeletons on the post outside. And they are, I mean, they're alien. 
totally alien looking. Yeah. Our friend who's a photo uh, photographer who's really good photographer. He's the one that first told us about this town that we live in now. I would say a famous artist, right? I mean, anyway, he's got this beautiful photograph of a cicada and he builds these frames of it and that was our first time ever seeing the cicada, right? Really? Like uh, his, from his photograph? I mean, that was 10 years ago, but. I don't know. We went, oh, we, saw that one we went to go do Chicago. this show and we had to go through Oklahoma. And I remember just being terrified because I'm like, we're just going to get swept away by a tornado. And we <laughs> saved the night, uh, basically in our truck in Oklahoma and I was like, oh. God, these power lines are yes. so loud. What is going on? And then I look up and I get out of the truck and I'm like, there's no power lines. What <laughs> was that what most people refer to that that power line? Because we have I don't we know live, that was, we live, it was our, buzzing. In our city, in our area in Salt Lake City, we live in we live in this area where there's these giant power lines that thanks a lot. You're all, please share your drawing. We'd love to see it. But then we have these power lines that make that same hum, that consistent hum that like the the potatoes do. Huh. But I, I had no idea. Yeah. Thought, yeah. I thought it was lines. like some major power lines over us, but yeah. I got up and I was like, that's weird. It's a really cool sound though. Yeah, it's loud. But I never noticed here like are crickets not a thing in the around here? We don't have as many crickets here. Yeah, so in Utah, it's like that's all. It's the same cicada sound, but it's like, but it's cricket sound. But that same constant just. You know, those crickets. Yeah, you don't even you stop noticing the cicadas. You stop noticing the crickets yeah, until they're gone. Mm. Oh, years of damn train. That train. That dude was blowing that whistle so loud last night. That's funny. I didn't hear it. Oh, are you kidding me? He was like, <laughs> kind of, it was kind of like, a, like he was being kind of a dick about it. Like, I think they do. I think they're like, it's two in the morning. So guess what, town? Because <laughs> there's like seven. It goes. It kind of does a U turn around the whole town. And I think he's almost just being a dick and just. That last night, I think felt like he was doing that. Sometimes I, I mean, I know by law they have to, when they go into a. When they cross the street. Yeah, well, you know, but he was like, he was like, oh, I don't know. That's um, funny. I don't even hear it anymore. I'm heading out, Ty. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Okay. No we'll see you next time. I hope you. I hope you will. <laughs> I definitely will. Yeah. No, I enjoy this. It, it gets. I stop drawing for a while and it gets me back into it. So it's good. Awesome. Well, Happy thank birthday. You. Thanks. <laughs> Take care. Bye. I would just figure, I just recognize the voice. That was Chelsea? Yeah. I'm going to ask her if she wanted to. I don't know if I remember her. I just want some more female artists in the cricket clubs. I have two that I'm waiting for their drawings from, but it's not like I haven't reached out. Mm. I don't know. I know nothing about her. Her? Mm -hmm. It's a water based marker. We go for a walk downtown or something? Sure. I don't like that. That which one did you use? Yeah, don't use these ones. These ones are awesome. These ones are flow. And then, I mean they're basically a brush, but they're
Now that looks amazing as usual. Thanks. I'm going to head on out though. It's uh, been fun again. Oh, well, thanks for joining us again. Have a good week. <laughs> nice having a familiar face at these too and, and knowing someone like who's here in like uh, understanding the process and I don't know. I, I appreciate you being here. Yeah, thank you very much. <clears throat> I'll see you next time. All right, man. Have a good rest of your weekend. You too, guys. Thanks. Those are fun, right? No, they're really, I don't like those either. Oh, they're, they're you gotta. They're fine. I don't like, uh, I just, you know, I just, I like acrylics and I like things that smudge. Oh, well, these kind of do. They're nice and soft. I know, I love them. But you can use them I really just don't like, like them. them. It's all, it's sort of pressure based. I really don't like them. But they're cool. It works better on watercolor paper. It's better on this. It's really, they go on a little too heavy. I don't like go on that heavy. Primor primordial soup. Isn't that a, a Primus album? I think so. Primordial soup. So it's like Beckett and Juder in our house. Is that like okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know. Are they still here? Yeah, they took over. Oh, they just brought the corona from uh, the, the Ozarks. Ozarks. I know. <laughs> oh, I just ruined this. Oh well. What did you just do? Oh, I just, I give up on this thing. You put it in the stuff they put in those fountains. Well, that's what I imagined it was. Anyway. Some kind of weird... Oh well, I think it looks okay. Hey, thanks again for the session. I'm about to sign off. Go well, hit the, do some yard work. Well, yeah, today's the perfect day for it. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye. Yeah, you got up first thing this morning and did the yard work. I sure did. I hear people out there weed whacking now. That's all day long, every single day. I hear weed whacking.
which is odd since none of our neighbors have no lawns. I, I well, uh, when I, every time I hear that, I'm like, we don't even have neighbors. Why do I always hear? It's just crazy. It's constant. That's what I'm saying. I do it over at the bank. I think he just does it every single day. Three forty-three. All right, we'll go another fifteen minutes. I'm gonna walk downtown. Stretch out my legs. Yeah, Oh, are you dyeing your hair? Um, there's. Isn't Scarlett dyeing her hair today? There's a sack in that oh. bathroom. They're not on. Nobody's on that we know. There's a sacrament bathroom. Sacrament bathroom? It's a one, Dad. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. How did you not know? <laughs> How am I not supposed to know? <laughs> <laughs> How would I not know that? How would you know that or I mean, not know yeah. that? How would I know that? How would I know that? Well, because Almost everyone obviously. in the world knows if you don't want someone to know something, you don't tell me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm the worst. You are really bad with secrets. I don't want secrets. The secrets don't do no good. If you have something to say, just say it. I keep secrets. You can't keep a secret from yourself. No. This is why. I can't. I don't like secrets. Everything should be open. But every time you've like tried to throw me a birthday party, <laughs> no, I would end like up telling I you anyway. Figured I, it out. I'm like, what? You're like, hey, so do you want to know or do you not want to know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't like do you want to know that I'm throwing you a surprise party or did you not want to know? Yeah, well, especially with you because I know you don't want a surprise birthday party, so I would never do that now. I like now what that looks like up there in his head. <laughs> it's messy, but I didn't shade any of this rib cage. Let me shade this. 15 minutes. I'm going to shade this. My, you know what my favorite part of the dream draw is? Drawing? No. Tomorrow or in the following days, just like seeing everybody's drawings. Mm. I love that. I love seeing everybody's creativity. Well, this one was extra hard with the music, I must say. Are you serious? This one was extra easy, comparatively for me. I just hear music and oh, you want I to need sing. to sing. I need to like sing Robin along. <laughs> I'm not like Robin. But of course you would think I was. No. It was just funny. I can sing along. I don't think it's very good. But they can't. They can't even hear the music, so it doesn't. Yeah, no, so just like how I am feel <laughs> when you wear headphones and you're singing. My wrist feels a little better. Warmed I sure I drank away the pain. I was going to say you warmed it up, but that could be it. No, it's it's definitely, uh, only in the morning is when it's the worst. I think that's just because it's more swollen. Than... I also think that the uh, salty popcorn every free night is not helping.
Stop eating popcorn. Eating popcorn. That would be my suggestion. Stop making the popcorn. <laughs> that would be even easier. No, oh, yeah, I know. Every time you make it, I'm like, I'm not eating any tonight. <laughs> Ty, do you have some good brewery where you live now? Uh, we have a brewery here. Uh, you, you say brewery, right? I, mm -hmm. Yeah. We have, we have this brewery, uh, this town that we're in right uh, now. It's uh, Hannibal, Missouri. It's Mark Twain's boyhood town. But uh, we have a brewery here called Mark Twain Brewery. And uh, um, they make some okay beers there. They have this... Um, they make this beer called uh, Orion's Apprentice that I love, and it's a that's a imperial uh, 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 an imperial porter. It's like it's a pretty heavy duty one, but it's really good. They have some color simpler kind of brews there that are okay, but um, St. Louis has um, a brewery called Schlafly that makes some pretty good beers, but. There's nothing really here that, um, I'm, I mean, I'm sure there is, but I haven't discovered anything particularly out of uh, Missouri that is something that I would, you know, that I could do backflips over. Um, so I bring stuff from my Salt Lake home, my home in Salt Lake City. Uh, I, there's a couple of breweries there. I also know the breweries in Salt Lake City better than I know here in, in yeah. Missouri. So a lot, lot to discover. <laughs> Yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and to drink. <laughs> no, <it's not> here. <laughs> There's this company called Budweiser. <laughs> I think <All> right. so. <laughs> Actually, you know what is true? That's funny. There's a, what is that? What's right down the street from our house? Is that a Budweiser? No, it's a, it's a Coors? No. Oh, that's an Anheuser. But anyway, right down the street from our house is uh, a distribution factory. They don't make right. it there, but they distribute from there. I never noticed. And they have brewery trucks. That's what's right down there by the, mm. by the post office. Their trucks drive by in, in the middle of the night, like every night. And they're so loud. <laughs> it's always good to have beer not so far, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have... Yeah, it's comforting. I don't want to hate on this area, but one of the things about this area is that there's not a lot of, of um, people are satisfied with their with their uh, Coors Light and uh, and uh, Bud Light and. You probably don't even know what those are, but they're yeah, just they like, do. do they? Do you guys know what yeah. Bud Light and Coors Light? From, from movies, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Right, from, you know, movies, from, from, from uh, you know, um, promotional placement in movies, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> like a light pilsner, is that what it yeah, would be? It, yeah, yeah. An extra a, light. It's a very light, boring, non-sophisticated, however, a very sophisticated to actually make, but done on a, a on a level where it's mass produced, so they can make it very easily. So it is a sophisticated, to get it as light as they make it, it's very sophisticated, but it, the, process. the process of making it is very sophisticated. In fact, brewers would respect how, you know, but the actual flavor profiles of it and what you're drinking is very boring. For you? No, it's like eating a, it's like eating, well, yeah, yeah that's true to me. Because I was going to say, it's like eating McDonald's, like a, like a, like a, eating food from a fast food joint. That, that's very well made or not well made but tastes probably uh, never mind it's basic base it's boring <laughs> there's no craft there's no real craft in it oh yeah in Luxembourg we sometimes we, we can find the Sierra Nevada beer from uh, yeah. USA yeah, yeah yeah that's a good brewery yeah yeah, yeah well, sometimes they, they, you can find in supermarkets here also here in Luxembourg yeah. And, and Snake Dog also. Snake Dog? Yeah. Well, I don't know who that is. I'll look it up. And, uh, um, um, yes, so a few, few beers from, uh, from USA are, you know, are still you know, available here. 
Do not so do much, but uh, I, I like Sierra Nevada. I like I like them. Good. Do you like um, do you like hoppy beers? Like do you like uh, the IPAs and the? Yeah, a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's in the United States. Like the IPAs right now are like that's just that's huge. Yeah. And so we and we have a lot of you know we we have many small companies and small people like people making those and they're making. There are so many really, really good beers coming out of actually, Michigan. A lot of them are in oh, yeah. Michigan. Well, Michigan's had microbreweries for forever. So, yeah, Michigan is always, they've always made good beer over there. Oh, everyone is crazy about craft beer in Luxembourg. You know, a lot of uh, new shops opening and uh, going, people going into really like small breweries, microbreweries. Uh, and now it's, it's it's a lot of people going into like you know this uh, this very fruity IPA with mango you know uh, or sour beers yeah stuff like that yeah oh, oh yeah Jack, so uh, in the United in the United States like actually sours are uh, yes. are really popular right now yeah 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 if if you go in Belgium to Brussels. You, there are some breweries you can visit, and they, they like specialize in sour beers. They are amazing, very very good, very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sour beers. Cantillon, Cantillon. I don't know if you know Cantillon. It's a, it's a very amazing, very good beer. What they, is it? Cantillon. It's a Belgium. it's a Belgium uh, brewery, and uh, they you know the beer is uh, is uh, is developed in uh, barrels, you know, in like wood barrels. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. When you, when you go and and you visit the, the brewery, you can, you can really smell the wood inside. There, are, everything is is uh, is stocked in the in barrels. You can make a tour. It's uh, very popular in Belgium. A lot of tourists are going to visit. Uh, the, and then at the end of the visit, you can just uh, stop by the bar, and uh, they they make you like a, a tasting with all the different beers. It's uh, very 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 interesting. Not just very interesting, but very European. <laughs> yeah, <right>. Exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, craft, like so, craft brewing is. I mean, that's not. I mean, so you're like Europe. You, I mean, there are. I remember when we the, the last time we were in Europe. I remember when we were in um, uh, the Czech. We were in Chesky Krumlov. So anyway, wherever we were, we were drinking in this uh, at this. Uh, what, what do you call it? A, a pub? In well, we were, uh, we were drinking like this. I was drinking the. I mean, they're the, they're the beers are beers that they've been making since five hundred, you know, since you know, like the five hundreds, and it's yeah. the same, same exact uh, recipe, same exact out of the same uh, vats that they made them in back then. The like, original Pilsner, maybe. What's that? The original Pilsner beers, like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stuff yeah. Like that. The original Pilsner's made from the same vats that they had originally yeah, yeah, yeah. made, and uh, they're 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 you know, they're not the flavor profile. They're very boring, but the history behind it is what yeah. makes them that much better. And so I, what I imagine European, like because Europeans have been drinking, making beers and creating beers for you know thousands of th you know years. <laughs> mm -hmm. That um, I I wonder so is craft craft brewing is kind of a new a newer concept in Europe. That's only that's only what I'm imagining. I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's uh, I think it's about now maybe less than ten years that it's it started you know to to become big. And, uh, you know, everyone is doing his beer in, in, uh, in his uh, garage and stuff like that. And every every two months, you have like a new brand coming in Luxembourg uh, and shops with uh, beers from all over the world, you know. And but it's the same in Italy, in yeah. Belgium. It's, it's in very, Italy, it's, it's very, very huge. It's trendy, very big in Italy, you know? for example. It's very trendy in Europe. Yeah. Right. A lot of people are very passionate about it, you know. They collect uh, labels. They yeah. collect Hotels, they, 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 they do a lot of, uh, you know, it's become, like it's a trend, you know, it's something very, uh, becoming you know, like a trend. You know anybody who needs some labels on their craft beers? <laughs> I know somebody who draws. <laughs>
Oh so, yeah, there's. Uh, well, I have a collector in um, in Denmark who owns a bottle shop, and uh, he just. Uh, I did this Viking drawing a while ago, and ah, cool. Uh, their beer. What was the name of their beer? It was the Dark Plague. Plague Doctor. No, not the not that one. That was a uh, the Danish. Yeah, those guys do. So, but uh, uh, Gert's. Gert just used my anyway. Uh, when we were there in Denmark, we went to his bottle shop, and he was always very uh, excited about getting um, like American, like you know, American-made beers, mm. craft beers, because that's uh, seems. I guess it's probably importing. It's probably not all that easy. So, I guess you guys don't get a lot of like these American craft beers, right? Yeah, and we yeah. have. A lot of hops are, are imported from America. A lot of brewers that are doing beers over here, they yeah. import the hops from, uh, from USA. Ah. The hops? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, where, where else would you grow, where else are they growing the hops? Uh, in, uh, there is a, in France, there is a, the east part of France, the, there is a traditional region for beer, you know? Yeah. It, was very huge and also in Germany you have yeah. uh, like the, the, the traditional uh, you know the blonde beer like the classic beer like uh, they um, yeah it's a bit like you know in Czech Republic prisoner beers and also in Poland they do also these very light beers very fresh you drink on the terrace in summer it's amazing yeah, summer, a nice summer beer like a Corona. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just when I just looked over, I saw that uh, Olivia said something in Wisconsin. I don't know what it was referring to something else, but Wisconsin's also making some really delicious beers. <laughs> oh, there are so many. There are so many brands in Poland. Very good beers. Very good beers. And also, it's developing uh, also in the craft side. But the national beers in summer by a terrace, it's it's really enjoyable. Very good. <laughs> Well, I hope that we can come out. I hope that when we come out to, uh, oh yes, that's what I. After I said that, oh yeah, I I realized yes, Wisconsin and hops, absolutely. That's where you should get. That's where you get your hops from. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, uh, I hope when we come out there, uh, I hope we can come out there and maybe we can come out and see you guys in person, and then we can do a beer. We can do a a beer a beer drinking session. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let us yeah. know. Let us know, of course. <laughs> it would be a pleasure to share. <laughs> we are in good place, and uh, Luxembourg is a good base to travel anywhere. So, you know, we can be in two hours in Rome, in Italy, yeah. <laughs> two hours in Barcelona, in Spain. <laughs> well, that is very European. Barcelona is on our, is the other place that we probably want to go see. We've never been, we, we've never, like, we don't ever really want to go to, like, where it's, Overpopulated with more Americans taking selfies, like that's not <laughs> that's not really our vibe. Like we like small towns, and we want to go to small villages and go check out like where the, where the locals are. That's more of our our speed. But uh, we do want to see. We do want. But we do time. have to see like some of the major. I know. Things from time I know. To time. We usually go. We try to go in an off season where it's not so chaotic. Winter. <laughs> the dead of winter. Work. Yeah, we went to the um, Eiffel Tower. We were the only ones there. Yeah, it was so <laughs> great. We really were. We were literally the only people there. <laughs> it was. It was in uh, in February. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, it was February at night because I remember we drove into Paris, and I was I was like the bit I regretted it because it was awful. It's like driving in Chicago. You can't find parking. You can't actually get into the city. There's also no parkings on the road in Paris. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Paris pretty much all of Europe has no markings on the road. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I, had, I got like a $185 ticket in, a, uh, in, Euro, in a Italy for Did driving. You? Well, yeah, we drove into that, that area with the, the sign that has the the circle sign with the red 
for villagers only. Vill yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, it doesn't matter. In Italy? Yeah. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, in one oh, it was one of the cities. What was that city that we went into? One of the areas that you're not supposed to be driving into. We went to. Um, S. I want to say Voltaire, but that's wrong. Voltaire. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were in uh, you were in uh, in Tuscany. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you you went to Volterra. Yeah, oh, Volterra. Yeah, Volterra. That's Volterra. it. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. It's amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah we... uh, incredible city. Yeah. Very high high. Uh, uh, say. Uh, yeah, on the on the on the hill, you know. Yeah. yeah, it was it was beautiful, and we had been up in Denmark, and it had just been raining nonstop, and had been cloudy, and we had spent th two or three weeks up there, and we were making our way down south, and it was like I need sunshine. Yeah, so you know, let's <laughs> just go where there's sun. It wasn't that warm; it was maybe fifty degrees Fahrenheit, but I was I just needed sun for a few days, and it was beautiful and wonderful, and was yeah. a jacket not a winter coat yeah usually when you go like in Tuscany and you drive in this uh, very old town it's uh, it's tra it's traffic limited for for cars yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it, we had the same problem once you know in Rome <laughs> yeah. you just as fines uh, after another fines you know <laughs> yeah. like, <laughs> accumulated accumulate them for like for one day <laughs> but uh, yeah. we've been same afternoon <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it was crazy <laughs> two fines because we were driving in a wrong you know? right <laughs> no <Stressing>. wrong area <laughs> we were there when it was for, uh, for uh, people walking you call it like pedestrian uh, road yeah. <laughs> not even for cars so. oh yeah. it's like going to new <laughs> yeah. that's because we got fines <laughs> Well, hopefully we'll get back there at some point as a family. Yeah, it's like uh, all flights in Europe uh, until mid June for now at least. Thanks, yeah. Lisa. I think people. I don't know how they're gonna. Well, let's do a view of everyone's oh, before. Oh, well, there's only a few, oh, oh, but we mind. can. Never mind. No, no we can look, look and see. Well, before, I was gonna say before Lisa, and they, they, I think they. Oh, yeah. Lisa, you want to show us yours real quick? What? Yeah, we got a lot. We have to go anyway. Wow. Oh, oh astronaut. Nice. Astronaut <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah. Do you guys want to show us yours? Can I spotlight you? I think I can I can show you, but I'm not sharing it. <laughs> You're not gonna share Didn't it. Did you say that the last time you joined us, though? <laughs> it's really it's a mess. The last time you guys joined us was the uh... a few weeks ago, or no, it was ago. the it was the the owl the owl. <laughs> yeah, it was the owl. The owl one, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that's been a while. Yeah. I'll show you mine. Yeah, that, my, okay. my yeah my wife will show you hers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah, nice. Nice dreadlocks. <laughs> oh, yeah, he'll be right back, but. Did you want to show yours, Olivia, or did we see yours? You popped right back off. Oh, okay, let me show you. Hold on. Sorry, I'm slow. Ah. No, nice one. Cool. Wow. <laughs> and just Patricia doesn't like they want to get on. What time yeah. is it there now? In Definitely. Oh, was almost easier, at least for me. <laughs> <laughs> that all was oh <laughs> yeah i didn't bother doing that one yeah no, it's, it's 11 o'clock oh 11. evening yeah are you guys working remotely or are you going in to work 
Uh, no, we are working. John Marco is freelance, so he's yeah, usually with clients or working in clients' offices. I am yeah, working in office, so now we are all yeah, in uh, a new house. Working from home, working from home uh, since yeah, three months now, so quite long. Yeah, and, and it looks have, like uh, we continue, you know, we don't let people to go back to the offices at least for another month here. So, okay. uh, I mean, we, we can go if there is some yeah, important okay. urgent thing or really the, it's a mass we have to go. But we keep like 20 people per, per floor maximum. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you, are you in an apartment? Is it small? Are you confined or do you feel like you have enough space? Uh, yeah, we have we don't have enough space to squeeze. You know, it's like yeah, we have more than one hundred people in the office, so and three floors, so we have to make sure that yeah, we don't bring the crowd uh, back uh, altogether because it's too soon. It's too soon, and you know, in, we open like you know, bars are open, restaurants now here, um, yeah, and uh, hairdressers. So so it's going back, but very very yeah, slowly of course. So. So in offices, they take different approaches, really. Sometimes, you know, they alternate, let people yeah, come one week, then the second week, another group of people. And the same with kids, actually, in schools, they do the same. Oh, are you guys, do you guys do kind of a year-round school, or do you guys break for summer uh, about now? Uh, so I think, yes. Yeah, it bigger like bigger kids were back to school already since two weeks but oh. they alternate also by groups you know oh. one group one week the other group is uh, from uh, yeah like uh, studying from home and then they switch yeah the week after oh. following week yeah okay. for smaller kids it starts only uh, it starts like in last week only like for you know very yeah like up to six years old and that's the harder crowd because you can't really keep a mask on them. Yeah. Not touch their face. They can't. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's the same also. I think they made like smaller groups, you know, per one teacher that can control at least like five, uh, six small kids to make sure, you know, yeah, they can keep eyes on them. So, yeah. well, I don't know. I'm just assuming, but um, when we were in Belgium, we saw a lot of kind of outdoor schools. Mm -hmm. Do you guys do any of the outdoor schools there? Like a lot of out time, outdoor time during school session? Yeah, I think especially, yeah, if the weather allows, of course, in Luxembourg, the weather is not always <laughs> that nice. But uh, yeah, this, I think I'd say this year it's very nice spring time. So I think, yeah, they definitely spend uh, outdoor more time than, you know, in, inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there are also like, uh, I think in different European countries, there are like completely outdoor schools. I think also like schools in the forest. Yeah, the forest. Yeah, they do this, yeah, it's a new concept, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's like it's really school in nature. They go in forest and the whole day, yeah, yeah. so. We have a friend who runs one down in mm. southern Utah and that's pretty, it's a good thing. Kids aren't spending enough time outside. Side anyway, in my opinion. <laughs> so. yeah. And how, how it looks now, the situation in US in general with the whole uh, reopening, everything? Now we have um, rights everywhere. Though. Well, <laughs> so it's just, it's different where we are in Missouri because they just basically said, okay, everything can open. And mm -hmm. I don't know if there's tests or not but there doesn't seem to be any increase in cases in our area in Missouri with, mm -hmm. with everything open, the bars are, nobody is, they haven't taken any tables or seats out of the bars. They're serving everybody, you know, there's mm -hmm. no masks. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't, it's really hard for me to wrap my head around it and mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a lack of tests. I don't know if it came through early I don't know if everything's just fine. Mm -hmm. I just, I have no idea. <laughs> so everything seems to be fine though. So 
I don't know. I'm still taking personal precautions just because, A, I don't want to be sick. He was sick back in March, like really sick. And I don't want that for myself. And I also don't want to pass it along to somebody else more vulnerable. So I'm taking precautions, but I don't. Each city's each city's definitely different here. Yeah, it's city, it's county by county, city by city. So it's just, just depends on where you are, I guess. This part of America that we're in though is, uh, uh, has, is known for they're better. They just want to do their own thing. They don't want to. They want. They don't want government telling them what to do. Cool. We have a lot of farmers and a lot of people who are outdoors, um, working a lot. And I think, I don't know. I just kind of think that their immunities are built up a little bit differently than the average person who's inside all the all the time. It's also not a condensed. Like New York City is condensed with millions of people in one location. So there are lots of those kind of cities, but where we're at right now, it's, it's r rural America. So there really aren't dense populations of people. Yeah, so where we're at right now, it's hard to tell. If I was in Salt Lake City, where it's a, a far more dense and things are opening more slowly, a little bit like more how where you are, it's just all different. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I can't wrap my brain around it. No. But we're just doing what we can. Mm. Yeah, right now in the U.S., we're dealing with our own. With the, uh, we we had another police officer that had killed a, killed a um, a black man. Like and 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 so cities are rioting and pe people have just. They've just had it. So there are cities that just been just riots and riots. It's, it's a really bizarre time for, I mean, the United States has always had this racist issue happening, but currently the, this, the last two days, there have been riots against the police. It's just, it's been a very, uh, yeah, we saw that. Yeah. Been, been and Minneapolis and I saw yeah even in New York but I of course we, what we see it's difficult to even believe you know to what we see because I, I don't know if it's fake or it's definitely happening it's it's mm. it's always uh police, police brutality well I mean that happens all across the world but you wouldn't expect it to happen in the United States um mm. but it is yeah it's it's caused quite a scene that's everywhere it's in every city yeah. right now in in america even you know it's in fargo which is a small town in south dakota it's in oregon in miami and it's in new all, york it's in oakland it's, it's just everywhere and it's place. a long lasting issue but because of this just the yeah. recent couple of issues that happened in the last month especially the mm -hmm. one from the uh, george floyd murder from the police officer uh that the every city is uh yeah it's yeah, it's i don't know it's that's what i was talking about earlier it's like this platform of this uh, drink and draws are not really where i where i where it's where i want to be discussing it this is kind of like where, where i want to draw but it feels weird being here and not mentioning it <laughs> So, yeah, it's, I don't know. But yeah, where we're at right now, we have a few protesters out and there's no conflict. So luckily we're just a small town right here, but you know, um, our biggest town nearby is um, St. Louis and they, I don't know if you're familiar, but we had a whole Ferguson thing a few years back with another um, pop of brutality there and and then back home in Salt Lake City, where we're from, they're flipping police they're, cars and setting them on fire and burning, burning. Yeah. And that that's happening, and especially in Minneapolis too. That's, I mean, they're really burning down the neighborhoods. Like, mm. yeah, it's it, it's sad, but there's sometimes people are so angry. Yeah, we saw some videos, and this morning even I I watched there was video from New York when yeah. 
when the police car is driving in a group of people or really like in a violent way. I don't know if someone... That's really knows. happening. All, that, all of that is really happening. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to laugh. I just think, I mean, I, I just, I'm laughing at like how just, what a bizarre, it's just like, it's just it's awful. It just sucks. It's, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, every day we have uh, big news. Like, if not, yeah. <laughs> Virus, then we have, yeah, the whole yeah. Um, rebellion. You know, actually, yeah, I mean, I have a feeling of like people have been bottled up in their homes for so long now. They're, they, I mean, it's, yeah, oh, I don't know. <laughs> all, I, all I can think is like, I'm going to end up uh, releasing this video, this drink and draw session for. Her. <laughs> so oh. I, I don't, I don't, I, yeah, cause yeah, it's I mean, recording. Yeah, I just, I, I, I mean, <laughs> you don't want to say anything cause it's recording. No, I just, I mean, you never know. You Who don't. Knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, no, it makes sense. Uh, well, but yes, this? there are things definitely happening here. What you're seeing on the news is real. Mm -hmm. happening. <laughs> And it's just bizarre for for Americans because this sort of stuff happening, rioting and 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 that wild just, that's happens all over the world. But you well, it happens here in a select city, but it doesn't normally happen country wide. Yeah, oh. yeah it's just bizarre. Well, let, we're gonna go uh, go for a walk. And uh, I guess we're the only ones left. Yeah. <laughs> and Audrey and Patricia. I think they're just logged in still, unless they're. Well, they actually... said they're drawing. Oh, did they? Well, not Patricia, but. I appreciate you guys uh, joining us. We set, we we definitely set this up for you guys mostly. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Next time, yeah, don't don't plan it too early your time, so you don't don't skip on your lunch. <laughs> no, this, this is this timing is actually pretty decent on a Sunday afternoon for us. Yeah, we've been working on that gallery so hard that we're exhausted in the evening anyway. So yeah, this has been nice. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, we had really. Life was very cool as as always. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I I I don't know. If, Nate, did, did you get that? I'm. I haven't finished my version of the uh, cryptic collab yet. <laughs> I, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Take your time. You know, it's no. There's I have, no room. I, have, I have a head drawn. I just haven't gotten to the. But uh, yeah, I think probably not. Um, well, obviously, it's not going to be tomorrow. It has to start on a you know on the beginning of a week. So I think by uh, next week, we'll we'll launch ours. Yeah, no problem. It's gonna be with um, it's gonna be with this other artist. Uh, I don't want to miss say who it was, but I already have yours and uh, log or lined up with this other artist. I think it is um, bits. I I I, I don't know. I, but it will get it out. I loved your drawing and how it turned out. By the way, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You know, it's it was great because um, You're the cat. from from the first uh, drink and draw we did with the owl, that that was the time I get I got back on drawing with the the pole pen pen uh, pen 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 I think I, I I I forgot almost to do you know, it was many 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 years I I didn't draw with that you know so it, it takes me back you know to the pleasure to do it you know like just improvisation. Just from scratch without thinking too much. So it's uh, yeah, it's very 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 good. So, so thank you for the to having you know uh, bringing all this uh, all this stuff you know. Yeah. Well, you're <laughs> welcome. The pleasure of uh, improvisation, you know, without like uh, without uh, you know uh, being able to cancel and just doing and uh, doing 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 till you get some results at, at the end, you know. He's yeah. Good at that. <laughs> well, and yeah. I, I think actually everybody's good at that. But when you do have the ability to erase or cancel, you will. 
So that's why I like, you know, when we do these drinking draws, I like telling people like, just use your pen, just do it. Yeah. Don't be surprised. Yeah. You just keep pushing through. You're going to yeah. you'll be able to fix anything that you don't like. Yeah, you can always find a new way to to uh, to draw stuff, you know, and to arrange stuff. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, yeah, it's very very interesting. Well, thank you guys for joining us, and uh, I will message you about. Uh, um, I think it'll be next week. Next week, Monday. I sure. should have finished to do the cryptic collab launch. Yeah, no I'll problem. Stay. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Well, thank you, guys. I, I am glad you were able to join us today. That was fun. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for your time. We'll be there next time. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. Cheers. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.